Oh my gosh, what's up everybody and welcome to the Saturday morning broadcast. I forgot to put my hat on. Oh my gosh guys, I'd be in so much trouble if I didn't put my hat on. Hopefully you are all doing fine on this day. As you can see, I am Captain Marka. How are you doing everybody? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you are all having a fantastic day so far. I'm having a pretty good day so far, I have to say. Although, I will admit, I woke up this morning with what somebody might call a hangover. Uh, Mrs. Lethal and I were playing some slightly tipsy slash drunk Rocket League last night for the first time. That was pretty dang awesome. But I want to thank you all so much for being here. Soul Hex is here. Thank you so much for that, for being here. Caustic, thank you for being here early and dropping that host. Kate Nippers, thank you for being here and dropping that host. Thank you for the click to tweet. Uh, guys, if you're out there and you want to help support the stream a little bit, you can go ahead and hit that click to tweet. You can alter the text if you want. I just I change it every single time just to kind of keep it fresh. If you don't like what it says, just change it. But uh, helping tweet out the stream uh, does mean quite a lot to me. It does help uh, spread the love and spread the word. Um, King J345, what's up and welcome to the stream. Hopefully you are having a great day. Uh, I just heard a ding over on the side. Uh, so I do need to give you guys the, the, the realness that I am actually technically working <laughs> at the moment. Uh, I'm doing like an on-call slash overtime type shift right now. Um, and in order to do that, well, I mean, I still wanted to stream. So uh, occasionally I may go off camera and have to take care of some stuff and things. So um, that's really loud. And this speaker doesn't work out very well. So I'm gonna get that figured out. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get situated because I'm, I'm not wearing my apron. I wanted to make sure everyone could see my Captain Murica shirt before we really got started. Loving the decoration. Man, we gotta, we gotta be festive today, man. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's the you know, 4th of July weekend. Um, if you couldn't tell, actually, let me grab my work laptop while I'm kind of pimping out the stream here a little bit. Um, so what we're doing today is uh, I'm going to be making some hamburgers, some chez burgers, um, to be more accurate. I'm going to be, uh, let's say, um, let's, let's just pretend like I'm going to grind up my own pork belly which if you don't know, in America, that's where the bacon comes from. So if you have uh, streaky or fatty bacon, however you want to call it, or in America, it's just normal bacon. Um, that comes from the pork belly, uh, which is a muscle that, that like is on the outside. So it's like, it protects the stomach. So it's not the actual like stomach, you know, it's the muscle that protects that area. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so that's where we get that from. And to make actual bacon, we cure it and then smoke it usually, but I've got, raw pork belly. So I'm going to grind that up. I'm going to grind that up. And uh, I've actually got another slab that I'm going to roast for the entire duration of the stream and see how that comes out as well. I don't have high hopes for it, but I had it in the freezer. So I said, hey, why not? Let's do the thing. Um, also, to supplement the, the pork belly, I'm going to be grinding up. I have some beef sirloin as well. So we have a 50-50 burger. Uh, it's approximately 50-50 of um of pork belly and beef so that'll that'll help balance it out a little bit so i'm going to form the patties and then stuff it with blue cheese which i realize isn't exactly american like i could use american cheese product you know slices uh, and make juicy lucy's uh you know that might act i might make one just because it gets really gooey um you know and when, when you cut into it it just bleh. <laughs> um which sounds disgusting, but it is, uh, is very good. Never mind my lights. You know, we've got a haunted kitchen here. They're just going to do what they want to do. They don't like freedom. The lights in my, in my, in my kitchen here, not, not a fan of freedom. <laughs> so they're going to, they're going to go up and down, um, like strippers booties go. But, um, in addition to the, uh, the burgers that we're going to stuff with blue cheese, I'm going to try making a quick pickle. Um, with uh with cucumbers and and uh, it's a recipe that i saw online uh that it, it should like if i start it soon uh the the cukes the pickles should be done by the time we're ready to eat um so that'll be really cool excited to boot that uh let's see to start out though i'm gonna be making some breakfast because mrs lethal's hungry i'm hungry and uh 
you know, just very excited to eat. So I'm going to make some scrambled eggs and uh, some bacon. So let me go ahead and get, let me go ahead and get the bacon out. Um, just because here, we'll just do a single, uh, just because, you know, people see bacon on the front page and they say, I, I must, I must. <laughs> Dang it, Cosby, that's not my quote. That's ludicrous though. That's Luda. I can't take credit for that. I can't take credit for that, but um, okay. So then also gonna make some French fries, some freedom fries, but uh, French fries from scratch using a, a technique that works. Hopefully it works uh, today. <laughs> if you guys have been around this stream, you know oftentimes I tend to uh, screw things up. Uh, <laughs> but if I screw it up, we'll fix it. That's, that's the deal. Um, yeah, so I think, I think that's it. Uh, I think that is all that is uh, is necessary to to go into. I'm just finishing up a little bit of work. Yep, I gotta get my apron on. I gotta get my apron on. It's gonna easily be all of my quotes get taken out of context, caustic. All of them. Every single one of them. But it's okay. So I got my work laptop. I'm gonna leave that over here. I gotta get my apron on and get my my things situated. So I'm gonna mute my mic because I gotta move my mic. I'll be right back, guys. Hang out. I gotta get some music going. We'll be having good times. Okay, so that was that was ill, ill done, uh, ill done. We did just have a silent stream, chef. Way to go, man! All right, so I'm trying to get some music going here. Um, oh, I do need these. Can you see me? You can't see me. Perfect. Oh, that's probably that's probably not going to work. That's probably going to be super duper loud. All right, how do I look, guys? How's that? That good? I can poof this up. Lights, please. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, are we connected? I am connected. Sweet. Let's get this going. Please play. Please. Ah, yes. Sweet. We have music. Yes. Like American princess. That's what I'm talking about. What's up, Low Man Z? Welcome to the strum. Low Man Z has followed. Thank you for that kitchen. Thank you for that kitchen. Thank you for that follow. Hopefully you're having an awesome day. We're just getting started here. About to get down on some bacon. Um, if if the if the necklaces get too loud in the microphone, guys, let me know. If it's like starts hitting and getting really annoying, I'll take them off or put them somewhere else. Because um, I definitely don't want your ears to bleed. But uh, let's get down on some bacon. I've only got four pieces here, but we have more for the burgers. So. Um, yeah, you know what? I tell you what, let's get down on here. Let's get down on Friday. Boom. Mmm, bacon. Thank you for that kitchen. <laughs> That's what I told my realtor when I bought the house. Thank you for that kitchen. <laughs> True story, guys. Except for that wasn't actually a thing I said. How are y'all doing today? I just said y'all. I promised. And <laughs> welcome to the follow. Guys, don't judge me. Don't judge me, it's still early. I've only had, okay, I say, I have, I've had two cups of coffee today. I can't say I've only had. Two is, is plenty for me. Two is plenty. We'll start to ease into the stream. You guys know how I roll here. Let's get some more bacon, because we gotta have more bacon. You're not allowed to look in the fridge though, because that would be against the terms and conditions of the stream. You guys have not purchased the DLC for the uh for that portion of the broadcast so i got four pieces of bacon 
but that's only like half a serving so we need to get we need to go more some of this will be for uh, for breakfast some of this will be for breakfast and then some of this will just be for the burgers later we'll keep it warm or whatever um but let's let's get down on this oh yeah, there's such a big difference between these two uh bacon types here too like one of these will be much better than the other not gonna name names the other cooking lethal. Eh. <laughs> King J, it's a magic trick, man. I, I knew you were gonna leave, so I was like, well, I gotta get all my decorations and my and my outfit on. Oh man, this bacon smells so good. This is a nice thick cut applewood smoked bacon. Probably my favorite. It's it's a good quality brand. Um, because you know, I don't eat bacon very often. I know blasphemy. I don't eat bacon very often, but when I do, I wanna make sure it's the good stuff. So let me wash up real quick, just a quick washy wash. So I get that bacon juice off my hands. Make sure work doesn't need me. And oh, there we go. Clean, clean, clean. There we go, there we go. Sweet. Bacon, oh look at all those bacon emotes, awesome. <laughs> Are any of those bacon donut by chance? Probably not. Oh yeah, bacon donut. How appropriate. <laughs> nice. All right. So hands clean, bacon away. Here, I tell you what, I'm gonna throw this in there. Let's go like that, even though that's like now sponsored. Hashtag sellout mode. Bacon goes in the oven, because if you don't cook your bacon in the oven, you're doing it wrong. Uh, if you cook, whoa, what the? I just lost connection. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can't see. I'm going blind. That's not good. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, hold on, guys. The way I have my, my thing set up, I, uh, I've lost all access to my, to my chat. Hold on. I lost connection to my, uh, my thing. Do we still have internet? Am I still live? I can't see. Oh no! Sorry guys, I can't see. I'm, I'm flying blind right now. What's happening? Connect. I can't see anything. Shoot. Oh, tell me. Okay, hold on. Hold on.
Okay, I think I'm back. I think we got it. Okay. Okay. Oh. Uh. Hello. Why is it? Please. What's happening? There we go. Okay. All right. Back to normal. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm sorry about that guys. Arcadia, thank you for that follow. Really appreciate it. Sorry we're having some, some issues here. Um, trying to get it all situated. Like, the way I have my setup is uh, is not exactly ideal. But uh, thank you for those tweets, guys. Really appreciate it. I see you out there. Um, we're back. Let me get my music back on in here so we can get that hype train moving again. You can continue to turn the hype up. Uh, let's go, whoop, nope, wrong thing. Go back to phone. Please phone, please. Please. Aha, there we go. Sweet. Now, what was I doing? Oh yes, bacon, of course. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys, oh my gosh. Part of the fun is getting through the issues, right? It wouldn't be a Chef Lethal stream without at least one, one face palm. So, just got a little trashy can, or trash bag, I guess, more appropriately. I'll put this back here. All right, hyped again and holds on to butt. Perfect, Kate, perfect, perfect. Ooh, my necklace fell off. That's no good. <laughs> oh God, I got, a, I got stabbed in the eye by a necklace. My freedom, freedom stabbed me in the eye. That's, hopefully that doesn't get too loud, guys. All right, let's get back to action, okay? Bacon's gonna go back in the fridge for the moment. I'm going to extract my water jug because I need to rehydrate after last night. We got some eggs that we're gonna cook up all nice and pretty like. And we got some sour cream we're gonna toss in there because this is America. And a little bit of American chez. And some butter. Gotta have that butter. Check on the bacon. Looking good. Bacon's, bacon's going fine. No worries, no worries. King J345, thank you for that host. Much appreci, much appreci. Appreciate it very much. That's what much appreci means. Let me grab some water here. Maybe we'll get cooled down. Ah, delicious. So let's see. Do I have, do I have a bowl? You know what, I don't need bowl. I don't need bole bole. I will just use Cuppy, cuppy. There. All right, I'm gonna grab a fork. A fork dizzle, if you please. Didi Tulo, thank you for that follow. Much appreciated, means a lot to me. Welcome to the kitchen. Hopefully you're having an awesome Saturday so far. And Lowell Man Z, one is now hosting. Thank you very much, you attractive human. Loved you for it, thank you, thank you. All right, we're getting back into the swing now, guys. Let's get cooking, okay? Let's get cooking. It's breakfast time. It's breakfast time in the city. All right, so I put down some aluminum foil because I am lazy when it comes to cleaning. Um, I did say this is an America stream anyway, right? So laziness, right up my alley. So if you see me start messing around with things underneath the camera, guys, it's my wire for my... Um, from a microphone. Bishna has followed. Thank you very much for that. Hopefully you are having an awesome day too. We're back after you broke the stream. It's all right, man. It's all right. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. It's bedtime. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where are you at, Lil Man Z? Where do you call home in this world? All right, cool. A bowl of Cheerios. Dude, I haven't had Cheerios in years. I'll tell you. Exclude. All right, sorry guys, I gotta do a little, just another moment of work. This this is kind of poop. This is kind of poop, but uh, you know, this this will only take a moment. So let's see, how's the uh, the music? Can you even hear the music over my uh, over my loudness? Probably not, that's okay. I can hear it. I can hear it. So when I start dancing, you won't have any context for it. 
Also guys, I've been trying to get better about doing highlights uh, to the stream. So if you miss it, if you miss something that, that happened, um, you know, like I said, I, I've been trying to get better at it. So I, I posted, I think three highlights from my last stream. Camping right now. Xcord, what's up? Welcome. The land of kangaroos and emus and drop. I don't even know what a drop bear is, but Australia. Well, I will not butcher your accent, I'm sure, by telling you good day or anything like that. But just uh, welcome to the stream. And thank you for joining us on this magnificent day, uh, even though it's the nighttime for you. <laughs> How long in the process? Xcord. Uh, we're, we're pretty much just started. Um, I've got bacon in the oven for breakfast. I'm going to be cooking up some eggs here very shortly. Uh, I just have to do a small amount of work here. I'm technically on the clock for work, but I said, you know what? Um, as long as I can work, get the work done, I, I don't see a reason why I shouldn't be able to stream too. It's like killing two birds with one stone. So I'm doing something I don't like that much while I'm doing something I love. <laughs> Oops. So here we go, this will be the end of this one. Oops. Boop. And boop. Sweet! All right. A drop bear is a killer koala. Holy crap. Hope I don't get fired. I won't get fired, Bishna. It's no worries. It's no worries. As long, like I said, as long as the work gets done, it doesn't matter. Oh, bacon is sizzling away in there. I'm gonna go ahead and get my trivet thing, thingy jig ready. Put that right there. Uh, this is not the thing that I want. I wanted this. For that, we'll throw this back. All right. Doodly do 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 do. I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit. I feel like you guys probably can't hear the music too well. Let's crank it. Cause I'm I'm feeling good today, guys. I'm feeling good. Ba, ba, ba. So I'm cooking breakfast for Mrs. Lethal and I. It does look at a lot more lethal streams. Maybe and maybe not. Like, I wouldn't be able to afford the food. <laughs> I would not be able to afford the food. So I'm going to cook... Let's start with four eggs. We'll start with four. Just a nice, easy breakfast. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? So let's do... Number one. Notice I'm cracking on the, on the flat surface. Uh, if you crack on the on the side of, of the cup or the bowl or something like that, you're more likely to get shrapnel in your eggs. And uh, I prefer my my eggs shrapnel free. I've only just recently kind of taught myself how to like do the one handed crack move and have it work with like no shell getting in there. And uh, perfect. Nailed it. Nailed it. I said. So I'm gonna take my glove off, so I don't gotta I don't gotta worry about that no more. Poke my egg yolks and start. Like my eggs are the gooey yolk. So do I, little man Z. We're making scrambled eggs though. Um, typically, I would just end up like frying up a couple eggs, uh, throwing it on a piece of toast or bread or something like that, and uh, calling that breakfast. But cooking breakfast for Mrs. Lethal and I, she prefers um, scrambled eggs, and I don't mind them either. So we'll just scramble them up real nice. I'm using a fork. So we don't get too much uh, air up in the eggs, which it's a preference thing, but I just want to beat them up. Give me my money. Where is she? Oh. There we go. All right. So the eggs are sufficiently uh, beaten up. Mrs. Lethal put in this Mexican seasoning we have. Uh, last time she made eggs, she makes really good eggs. Uh, and uh, she usually just ends up putting a secret ingredient in and last time I was like, holy crap, these might be the best eggs that you've ever made. And she's like, Mexican seasoning. I was like, oh my snaps. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm going to try that. And hopefully it turns out as good as hers. <laughs> my bird steals a bit of my toast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my dog begs for a bit of my toast, so it's kind of the same thing, right? It's kind of the same thing. And what's up to all those new people out there? Soul, welcome back. Uh, if you're new to the stream, thank you for being here on this Saturday. Uh, just doing some celebrating of America's freedom. Celebrating America's freedom from the UK 
while the UK celebrates their freedom from the EU. Oh, too soon, guys. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Let me grab some salt. We get some salt, some nice kosher salt. We'll put that right in the right in the eggs. It's a little bit of salt. You gotta have salt in your eggs, guys. If you don't salt your eggs, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> Oh, but I hopefully you are all doing beautiful and fabulous today. Also, if like every, I don't know, if every like 15 minutes or so, somebody wants to yell at me to uh, make sure I drink some water, that would be really kind. I do need to at least finish this quart before the end of the stream. Let's check the bacon too. Mrs. Lethal's uh, re uh, requested like medium rare bacon. So it's not quite there yet. Last time I made it a little bit too crispy. Even for me, it was a little crispy. And I like crispy bacon. Not a main. If I want salt, I could probably get it from my pool. Do people traditionally eat something specific for 4th of July? Um, I would say like the tradition, um, was that X, X cord? I would say the tradition is like burgers, uh, hot dogs, sausages, um, stuff like that. That would be the tradition. Um, and I'm kind of keeping with the tradition, making hamburgers. Uh, but usually people will have, you know, cookouts. We're actually going to one tomorrow. Um, so people will have cookouts and, and, you know, have people over and grill up hot dogs and hamburgers. But no one, no one has a half pork belly, half beef, blue cheese stuffed burger. Yeah, pretty much what, what Bishna said. A lot of people, they might have barbe like actual barbecue, like pulled pork or ribs or something like that. Um, it's really about being outside. It, mostly it's like considered I would, what I would call like grill food. You know, things that when you think of grilling out, um, you would uh, you'd have out there. So, I, you know, I don't eat hot dogs all that often either. Um, since I kind of, I don't know, a couple years ago, I started trying to eat better and stuff, and I've since fallen off the wagon and gotten back on, but I'm still at a point where I can't really eat uh, hot dogs anymore without getting negatively affected. Um, like, I went to a basketball game. Like, the first time I had a hot dog in recent memory was, like, I was hardcore on my diet, and I was just thinking, man, I want a hot dog real bad. So I got a hot dog at the, at the basketball game, that I was at, and um, after that, my heart was racing for the whole game. It was ridiculous. My, my, my body was not used to processing that level of sodium, um, so I had two. <laughs> I had two. Po fan, I'm in America. I'm in America. Hence all of the, the freedom stuff over here. You're in Scandinavia, oh my gosh. You know, okay, so you make you bring up a point there, uh, X Cord. You bring up a point that I, I have a gripe with, with the way things get branded in the summer. Okay, I live in Florida. It's hot. Weirbles is hosting. Thank you, Weirbles. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully, you're having a fantastic Saturday so far. So check this out. Far no, no, I'm I'm south, pretty far south. I'm just gonna add a little bit of sour cream to the eggs here. Just give it a little bit of creaminess. Give it a little bit of tang. And uh, check on the bacon too, cause oh yeah, oh yeah yeah yeah. I think that's good. I think Mrs. Lethal will be pleased. I think she'll be pleased with the level of bacon that we have here. So let me get paper towel kind of action going on. Canadian twin. I just, Pofang, I say a lot of things, and if you hang out here for a period of time, I like to say a boot, even though I'm, I'm definitely nowhere near Canada. Um, in fact, I have a, a Canadian viewer slash friend slash person who it actually triggers when I say a boot. Um, but I'll say like aluminum instead of aluminum, because I think that's a much more fun way to say it. Um, you know, I say, I say a lot of things. <laughs> I say a lot of things just because it's fun. But I was telling a story. What was I telling the story about? Uh, oh, hot dogs. I don't remember what I was talking about, but it, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure it was a good story, bro. Cool story, bro. So I'm just getting the bacon out of the... 
out of the uh, the sheet tray here razor and we'll just go like that so it's still a little bit still a little bit limp it could probably use like my in my opinion probably another like two minutes or so but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother with it I'd rather it be a little bit under than a little bit over in this case so here we go and yeah some of this is gonna go on the burger as well a little bit later yeah, I don't know this actually some of this does look like it needs a little bit more time I'm sure it's fine it'll be fine guys it'll be fine guys there we go go cool. whoopsie daisy there we go looking good looking good top it off with some more paper towels Oh, I remember what I was saying about grilling and seasons and stuff like that. I'm gonna let the bacon kind of chill out way over there. Thank you, Xcord. Yeah. So this problem I have is like the internet slash articles. Lucy, 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 Lucy. Hey, you're okay. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey. 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 Shh. Okay. All right. Good girl. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Okay. Sorry, guys. I heard Lucy, like, having issues. I gotta check on her. Um, anyway, so now I gotta wash my hands. <laughs> so anyway, I have this issue with, with uh, like, the internet or articles, magazines, whatever, calling summer grilling season, okay? Maybe it is in some places of the world or the country, but let me tell you, in Florida, that's where I live, in Florida, the last thing I want to do in summertime is stand in front of a 900 degree grill fire fire and cook my food man like it's hot that's so hot <laughs> it's so hot like i have no interest in that i'm trying to get away from the heat yeah exactly and McKinney, gee, I couldn't tell if you were from Texas or not there, McKinney. Um, and yeah, in Florida too, I can grill all year round, except for maybe like one week. Um, but it just gets so hot that it's it's not pleasurable. It's like, even if I put something out there, like if I, if I were to grill some burgers, and I know like, okay, the, grill, the burgers need four minutes per side, flip them four minutes, and then, you know, I'm done. Like the time it takes me to come in here, to start in here, and go out there and flip them and come back, I'm already sweating. Now, part of that is because I'm wildly out of shape, but also part of that's because it's just hot. It's so hot. And they say global warming ain't real. Give me a break. All right, eggs in the pan. We put some butter in there a little bit, a bit, a little bit, a bit, a bit, a, a moment ago, uh, just to get it nice and melted. And I'm gonna, there. So if you cook eggs and, and you know, you, you do them in a bowl like I just did, rinse out the bowl really quick, because otherwise that egg yolk just solidifies and makes cleaning it very, very difficult. I'm gonna go with half a slice-ish of American product cheese product thing. Grilling in the summer sucks, yeah. Summer's practically the only time it's pleasant in Denmark. Not much grilling and eating inside. Yeah, I mean, I, again, that just really depends on where you're at, you know? Like, if you, in Scandinavia, I'm sure your, your seasons are, are a little bit so that, you know, you, you can't, do things all year round you cherish the time where it's it's warmer outside but here it's it's pretty much warm the entire time um you know it's like i'll get in my car and my little in you know my my dashboard indicator thing will say it's like 101 in the sun i'm like good god you know and 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 like so my commute to work is like 35 40 minutes there have been days i've come home from work in the afternoon after my car has been sitting in the heat all day and, um, you know, it's just, you know, I'm going home. I'll have my air conditioner on full blast, as cold as it can go, max AC, highest vent strength, and I get home and I'm still not cool. <laughs> like, it's ridiculous. And it's not like my AC is crap in my car. It's, it's a newish car. I haven't had any issues with it. It's just like, why does it got to be so flipping hot? Okay, enough, enough, enough weather talk. I sound like my mother. <laughs> oy, oy. We can't have that. Cannot have that. Um, who's that? Rasail. Ras 
Rye Sally. Rye Sally. Thank you for that host. Uh, glad you could make it and be here. Um, Lucy River, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you are having an awesome day. Um, I was gonna give, oh shoot. I was gonna give Lucy this half a, pay, this half, half, a half a slice of cheese I have, but um, I don't have anything, I don't have any pills to give her or anything like that. Oh, don't overcook the eggs, chef. That would be, that would be bad. Uh, they're slightly, slightly brown on the bottom. We'll say that's intentional. I got so caught up in chat and this extra piece of cheese I have. All right. Do yourself a favor if you're cooking scrambled eggs, don't overcook your eggs, guys. You want it, you want it to still be looking moist in the, uh, in the pan. Because if it's moist in the pan, it'll be moist in the pants? I don't know. So let me uh, get this all, serve it up. I don't want to put that in the sink quite yet. So we got that. Lucy River, did I thank you for that host? I hope I did. I sincerely hope I did. Speaking of Lucy River. Lucy. Lucy. Oh, here I have, I have a little, we're going to do Lucy cam for a second guys. Cause I have a, a piece of cheese for her. <laughs> oh, and she sees it already in my hand. She sees it already in my hand. Hello. Hello. My darling pit bull puppy. Hello. I love you. You're a good girl, right? How, oh, you're going to, you're going to shake my hand. That's a good girl. Easy, easy, easy. Good. Oh, good girl. That's a good girl right there. Look at that freedom jacket. Look at this freedom jacket. Oh, it's Lucy, everybody. Everybody say hello to Lucy. It's my puppy. This is my girl. This is my doge, my favorite doge that I own. <laughs> oh, she's a daddy's girl. She loves, she loves unsolicited butt touches and butt scratches. <laughs> uh, she's my girl. You're my girl. You're my girl, Lucy Goosey. Rawr, 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 rawr. Okay. All right. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. All right. Go on. No, I don't have anything else for you. I don't. I don't. But you're very good. And you're very sweet. Okay. Please go. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. She just wants some attention. I haven't said hi to her yet today, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello, Lucy. Oh, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. Okay. Okay. You ready? Okay. Up. Oh, I gotta cook! I gotta cook, woman! Excuse me, move! Out! Come on! There we go. Out! 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 out. Good girl. Good girl. All right! That's Lucy, everybody! She is my boo! As far as dogs are concerned. <laughs> That's wet in the pan. <laughs> it's wet in here. Oh, thank you, Xcord! Luna Muna! Luna Muna, welcome to the stream! Welcome to the stream. And thank you for that offline follow. Uh, I'm actually very, very curious how you uh, found my stream or, or uh, what prompted you to, um, to follow. Because I was offline. Like I get, I sort of get people that follow while I'm online, but especially the ones that get me when they're offline. That, that's what really intrigues me. So if you feel like chatting and, and saying what's, you know, what the, what, what the, I don't know, the trigger was or how you heard or something like that. I'm just curious. I'm, just, I'm not gonna change anything. I'm just really curious because I've never actually remembered <laughs> when somebody followed me off offline. So I wash my hands so I don't have all the Lucy, you know, Lucy juice <laughs> on my hands. You can't not live. <laughs> exactly, Lucy River. Lucy's judging me. She's judging, she's staring at me going, what are you doing, Dad? Don't, come on. Okay. So let me come over here so we have bacon cam. Mm -mm -mm. I'm still trying to figure out how to, it was 2 a.m. and you blacked out. All right, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> I was playing video games with my wife. No, 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 2 a.m., I was, I was, must have been this morning then. Uh, I was like, who's following me? <laughs> All right, so we got some bacon. This might be... 
Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Here, so I'll go like this. Just two pieces. Uh, we'll go like that. <laughs> so I've got this other bacon here. This is really gonna be for the burgers. This nice, the thicker cut stuff. Um, I tell you though, some of this I feel like I need to put back in the oven for like a minute or two. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So let's see, let's go like that. This one could use a little bit more time. This one can use a little bit more time. And this one's almost done, but I'll throw it in anyway. All the same, all the same. And the pan is not gonna burn my hands off. That's good. Ow. The oven will though. So now I need to summon Mrs. Lethal for her breakfast. Also, let me check out the uh, the egg situation here. Social eating, everybody. Delicious. Pope John Fiction is hosting. Oh my God. Thank you, sir. You beautiful human. Pope John, everybody. Hmm? What is? Oh, this? Well, I can't really. Oh, well. <laughs> Looking mighty fine, John. Pope John, everybody. Thank you for that host. Oh, I never got you ice. I'm sorry. We, we interrupt your normally scheduled stream to get Mrs. Lethal some ice. And some water. Is it better? Okay. All right, so here you go. You're welcome. Okay. I must use spam instead of oil to cook. Oh my goodness. Mr. Skittle Madness, welcome. It's not social eating unless you don't oh, know. That's a little bit too much. That's too much. <laughs> that's too much. No hot sauce. Um, you know what? I do have some sriracha. Let's sriracha it up. Let's sriracha it up. Cause I love me some sriracha. We have any sriracha fans in the, in the chat? I'll say guys, I did a, I did a social eating portion of a gaming stream on Thursday. I did not like it. It was really weird. It was very strange for me and I do a lot of strange things. I just, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it in the future, like one-offs. Like, cause I was, I was already streaming. I was streaming some video games and pizza was delivered and I was hungry and I didn't want to stop streaming so I could eat. So I just switched it over and I ate and I was like, this feels weird. I don't know. It's not for me. At least now, it's not for me. Ooh! Sriracha's hot! Hot sriracha! Hot sriracha. Ooh. Mm. One of the reasons why I love sriracha so much is because, yeah, it's spicy, um, but it actually has a really good flavor too, you know? It's like, it's not just spicy for the sake of being spicy, which I really appreciate. Oh man, I appreciate that so much. Come on. All right, I feel, I feel like this needs another minute. A little bit more time for that. So while I wait for that, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing something else, completely different, off, off the menu. Oh, hold on, ah. Nice kitchen, thank you, uh, Skittle Madness. Appreciate the compliment. And welcome to the stream, hopefully you're having a good day. Mm. Bacon, y'all. All right, so check this out. Check it out. I've got some pork belly here. Some fresh pork belly. Boom. Ugh. 
Hilbert, what's up? What do I eat? Bacon and eggs. Yeah, this is just some breakfast. Just some breakfast before I get started because I tend to exert a lot of energy on stream. And if I don't eat, I start to get hangry. You guys don't want that. I'll start yelling at you if you don't follow or host. Or <laughs> there we go. Pretty good eggs. Pretty good eggs. Eggs and bacon. Nice. Mm. I gotta focus. Focus mode so I don't screw anything up. Which we all know is inevitable. Right? So let me, um, please, aluminum foil, whatever. There we go, it looks a little bit better. Better cooked, better cooked bacon. That's the triple, the, the BCB. Oh I must said triple B, and then I just did. Oh. Failing at the English. Oh yeah, it's much better. This will crisp up a lot nicer as it cools down and the fat on there starts to stop sizzling. Starts to stop sizzling. Awesome. Guys, if you enjoy the stupid things I say, do an exclamation point quote. There might be a cool down on it, but uh, my moderators have done an excellent job at grabbing things that I say that are dumb that can be easily taken out of context. Mr. Skittle Madness, thank you for that follow. Much appreciated. So now I'm going to, let me think. Do I need to use the oven for anything else today? I'm making cucumbers. I'm making cucumbers. I'm making pickles. I'm making french fries. I'm making burgers. I don't need the oven. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the oven down to like, Two, 275 Fahrenheit. You guys see what's going on. Rose, it's my love. Welcome. Kate, I'm not ignoring you. So there we go. Uh, let me do, 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 Ooh, that's not very sharp. It'll be all right. So I've got my paring knife here. <laughs> this is America, I do what I want. <laughs> Food giveaway, what? If I could, I would, but I can't, so I won't. Whoa. Caught it, nailed it, aced it, can't be stopped. Cool. So. I've got this beautiful, I tell you what, I've got a whole pan here of bacon fat that I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave that there for actually, because what I wanna do, and uh, what I wanna do, <laughs> what I wanna do is, uh, I'm gonna try roasting up this pork belly and I don't actually expect this to work. Uh, I don't usually cook pork belly, or if I do, I do it in sous vide and I use like three days worth of time. And I just want to try and see if I could just slow roast this and make something that is delicious, semi-delicious at best. So, <laughs> so I've just got some pork belly here with the skin on. Very nice. Here in America, I don't know where, I mean, obviously I know where some of you are, but um, the way that like, pork gets sold in this country. It doesn't make me very happy. This knife sucks. Um, not gonna use that knife. <laughs> not about that knife. Let's go with this one. I know this one's at least semi-sharp. Can I cook pizza? I can. Why are you put, why are you put a uh, kappa? Am I slicing? I feel like I'm not even getting through the skin here. So I just wanna kind of make a, a grid through the skin here. But I don't want to penetrate into the flesh. Sounds gross. So yeah, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm getting in there now. The skin is really tough. Um so I was about there. Let's just keep on 
All right, there we go. But yeah, like, you can't really get cuts of pork uh, where I'm at with the skin still attached. Pork belly is like the only cut that they leave the skin on. And uh, it's crazy. Why not put capital? Good point. All right, there we go. So just, just continuing making these, these hashé, hash marks, whatever, hashtags. All right, that was good. But yeah, I feel like, I feel like this skin is thicker. This, this, this pig has some thick skin, man. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to reopen some of these up and this will help the fat render out. Come on. There we go. So help the fat render out, assuming this works, but slow roast, it should definitely work. There. And there. All right. So that, let me get rid of this knife before that becomes a fire hazard. What? I don't know. Look good, look good. Doo -doo -doo. M1, what's up, my man? Welcome to the stream. I'm just slicing up some pork belly here. I'm gonna come this way too. And remember that I have to add a lot of force because otherwise it is not, uh, it does not want to go, man. Pork belly, please. You are fatty and delicious. Oh, I cut right into the meat. Oh, well, <laughs> don't do this thing, does the thing. It's pretty much like the motto of my stream. Don't do this and then does it. There we go. So just making a nice little grid, I guess, on the pork. And we'll go like that. All right, so that kind of, that kind of should be okay, I guess, ish or something like that. Feels hungry, man, I know, Rose, I know. Well, I'm not really hungry anymore. Um, I gotta wash those knives. Soon. TM. So, come on. There we go. So I'm going to now go like this. I'm gonna put the pork right on top here. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. And I'm just gonna use salt. Feels fat, man. <laughs> Seems so complicated. Nah, this is this is easy. This is just pork belly. I'm gonna rub it in. I'm gonna rub the salt in here on top to try to get it into these creases. So that, uh, like, assuming that this works, uh, as the fat renders out, it should open up, like all these creases and stuff that I just made. That should all open up and the salt should get in. I'm saying should a lot. Don't think I don't know that. And I'm just gonna hit the bottom with a little bit of salt and a little bit more salt and a little bit more salt. <laughs> there we go. There we go, there we go. Flip it over, give it a nice rub down. Now that it's got a little bit of bacon fat on there too. That should be good. Salty creases. Oh yeah, that was my nickname in high school. What? No, it wasn't. That's disgusting. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna, okay, that's not too hot. I'm gonna toss it in the oven, which is approximately at 275 degrees Fahrenheit-ish um, <laughs> or so. I'm gonna throw this back over there and eat my last piece of bacon. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird. Now it's time to, time to get busy, guys. Time to get busy. It may have seemed like I was busy before, but you guys ain't seen nothing yet. That's all.
Stay hydrated, y'all. Stay hydrated. Okay, I'm gonna make some pickles. This is gonna take some time. So pickles, let me grab my ingredients first. Out the deal here. So I need rice wine vinegar, which I have. I'm behind the camera, guys. So bear with me. And uh, this is the only specialty ingredient is rice wine vinegar. It is uh, rice vinegar made from real rice. Good, good that they, uh, <laughs> they said, they spelled that out for us. Cool. So I got the salt, I got some sugar, some sugar, and I'm gonna need some water and I got my small saucepan. I need my cucumbers. I need to also throw away my plate of food because I ain't got no food on there anymore. Can't have a plate of food if you ain't got no food, man. You know what I'm saying? Cucumbers. Do, 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 do. Cucumbers. How you doing? Cucumbers are, cucumbers are all right. They, they feel all right. They feel all right. What's The real, the real rice is so hard. I know it is really. Lottie Latte, you like the hat and headband. Thank you very much. The hat is always there. The headband is for America, because of freedom. There we go. Do, 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 do. So, I need to uh, get my knife skills on with my, with the cukes here. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that, because that is like, physical labor is like so 2008. But uh, real quick, I just I just want to wash my knife though, for real. It's triggering me just kind of sitting here. So I'm just gonna clean it off real quick, like y'all know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. You can you can feel it. You can feel it because we're gonna be dealing with some vegetables, and I don't really wanna I don't wanna contaminate the vegetables with porky goodness because that would not be good. Dude, is it technically ironic if I speak with a what I'm calling uh, English accent uh, on the day that I'm celebrating their free my freedom from them. I don't know. It could be argued that my quote unquote English accent is absolutely horrible. America, because of freedom. Exactly. Hammerhead 0158 has followed. Thank you very much for that. Welcome to the kitchen. Hopefully, you are having a great day. A great day! All right, so I got my knife action going. Knife on, knife off. That's the, that's the new Karate Kid. That's the Chef Karate Kid. Knife on, knife off. Now I will say, that's the new insult too. Knife off, will you? All right, no one, no one say that. Don't, please don't. I didn't hone my knife when I was trying to cut through the pork belly. And I think that may have, that may have uh, become a detriment. Who dat, Lottie. Lottie Latte, thank you for that follow, I'm much appreciated. And again, hopefully you're having a great day too. Really loving, really loving the support today, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I know it looks like we got, we got some lurkers out there. I love my lurkers, don't come out of lurk. Do not come out of lurk, I beg of you, please do not. I just wanna say hello to you. I know you're out there and I love you so much for it. If you are lurking and you are enjoying what you are hearing and you have not hit that follow button yet and you wish to, uh, because you like what, what's going on, I encourage you to do so because it does indeed make me feel really, really nice in the chestal region. Um, and this periodically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna peek in here. That pork belly is gonna take a really long time. Um, so hopefully by the end of the stream, uh, it'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna slice into, oh, that's much better. I just nicked the plastic on the cuke and it came, it came right off or I sliced right through it. Don't come out of, Caustic, don't do that, man. You're a moderator. Demod, demod. Oh, what's that? That's disgusting. Yeah, perfect. Sweet, oop. So I need to cut these things relatively, relatively thin and even, but I'm not going to do so with my knife because that would be irresponsible. I'm gonna use my mandolin doohickey here. And so if you don't know what this is, you probably should. You've probably seen this before, but it's just a razor blade. This is a small version, but I have a bigger one somewhere. Actually, I haven't used it since I moved in to the, uh, into the, the house here. How long am I gonna stream for? Probably a total of four hours or so until I'm done. Um, I've already been live about an hour. So probably about three more hours or so. 
Uh, depends on, on how sidetracked I get. But anyway, so this is just a, an easy, small version um, from OXO, Good Grips. I love their stuff. I'm not sponsored, but I just, I use, it's, their stuff's a little bit more expensive, but it's very ergonomic and comfortable to use. Uh, and it's got like this no slip grip thing on the bottom. Uh, so I can put it on the board and it kind of sticks. But so we got a really sharp razor blade. I have really bad experiences with these things, so I need to be careful also. And just an adjustable like lever thing here, uh, which opens up the gap between the surface and the blade. So you can have even slices no matter what. So I can just go like that and like that. And then I get two perfectly even uh, cucumber slices. And uh, I mean, my knife skills are okay. They're not that okay. Hmm. Hold on, let me hit that with a little bit of salt. Because cucumbers, guys, good for you. It's all water. <laughs> there we go. Mm. So I'm gonna go to town here. There we go. All right. Part of the part of the trick about using this this tool though is you have to make sure that it's, you're like solid here. So there we go. I gotta also be very careful. Like I said, I've had I've had some bad experiences. Uh, where I hurt myself pretty badly, uh, twice. <laughs> Don't want to talk about it. I'll totally talk about it, though. One isn't even... Oh, shut up, Hug Caustic. You can't tell. Like, like this isn't, this isn't like a, free, a freebie tool, I would say. Like, you still need to make sure that you apply equal pressure. Oh, that one. Like, see this? I kind of let it slip, and I got this really ugly edge. So that's just, that's just a chef's knack. That's just a chef, uh, chef's knack, because if I let that in the pickles, uh, Costa's gonna get triggered. I almost called you Trigger. Mm. Cucumbers. All right, there we go. What, it's close enough, man. It's closer than I could probably get, and much quicker than I could get, you know, cucumbers this, this even. I'll say they're even. They're, maybe they're not perfect, guys. I'm not gonna get my micrometer out to make sure that these cucumbers are all identical, but they're close enough, okay? Get off my back, seriously. But I love you guys. I love you. Yeah, I think part of it is the actual just cucumber skin getting caught. It's all good. It's still delicious. What's up, Cupcake? Welcome. America is ripe. America is right. I'm gonna eat this cucumber too. A little bit of kosher, and then right into the mouth hole. Perfect. I said mouth hole, guys. Don't get, don't get any ideas. I'm fine. Oh, it trimmed my nail for me. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, okay. I'm just making sure everything, yeah, everything's fine. So now I've got all this cucumber here, but I bought two cucumbers. I gotta tell you guys, I got kind of lucky on that one. I just got my, uh, <laughs> I just got my nail. I got, I got, uh, I got greedy with it. I got greedy with a cheap ingredient. Ingredy and ha ha! I'm just gonna toss the already cut cucumber into this quart sized container because this is what you do. Now this will be good. Actually, this might be enough cucumber actually because Mrs. Lila doesn't eat pickles. So this is really gonna be all for me. Let me let me cut a little bit more here. Let me cut a little bit more. There we go. Bless you. <laughs> all right. You know, it's easier to slice with a device like that when you leave one of the ends on. Oh, that's a good point. 
Alright, this plastic wrap is giving me a hard time, guys. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna chop off a get off. Okay, there we go. Also, if you're if you're if you're new to the stream today, um, I have my Captain Murica shirt on. You can't see it because of my apron, but uh, I have my Captain Murica shirt on, which I'm pretty I'm pretty excited about. I love Captain Murica. So just gonna keep on slicing here, and let's see how much this gets us. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. I will not, uh, I will not respond to your comment, Kate. <laughs> I will not. All right, that's pretty good. That's about full. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah, we're good. <clears throat> Here we go. This shirt is amazing. Let me see if I can, let me flash you guys. Hold on. Tyson. Boy, nope, you're not allowed up there. Come on, there's nothing there. Tyson, 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 come here. All right, guys, since he's being a brat, here's Tyson. Okay, all right, little dude. I have a heartbreaking story about Tyson, everybody. I have a heartbreaking story for you. First, Captain America. <laughs> kind of loses it because you can't see the, the guy's head, but it's amazing. So, woo! Whoa. So, we're, we're, um, we're fostering Tyson. He's our foster kitty. We have two of our own cats, and we have our Lucy, the Doge, that made an appearance. Um, so check it out. We're fostering Tyson. We took him to the vet. I say we. Mrs. Lethal took him to the vet yesterday, or to the Humane Society, where he's, you know, kind of from, where we're fostering him from. And uh, holy necklaces are all up in my microphone. All right. And, uh, yeah, he's ready for adoption. And uh, we're not really equipped to take him full time. Like we're okay, we're okay with the foster situation, but we can't really keep him uh, just because you know we've already got two cats and a dog. Although I, I, won't, I won't, I won't, I won't, uh, I won't say I wouldn't. Be, I'd be lying if I didn't say that we might be trying anyway to keep him. Um, <laughs> but uh, right now. Not really in our cards to keep him, so we may have to say goodbye. We have a friend who potentially will be able to take him or want to take him or something. Um, but, uh, so we're gonna have him for probably about another week or so while, um, it's actually Veggie Life 30 who's, who's a friend of the stream. Um, if she can convince her boyfriend that they should have this, this cat, then uh, they will probably take him, but we're gonna hold on to him for another week. So you may never see him again. You may never see him again. He is adorbs. Um, so I've got, you know, pictures of him all over my Instagram and all that stuff, but yeah. Come on, boo. And now he's playing with my wire for my, <laughs> for my microphone. Come on, dude, you're making this tough for me. He doesn't care. Tyson, don't give an F. He's like, I don't care. I don't care. I just want to play, man. I'm so cute. So like, he'll get to the the middle layer of our uh, our cat tower. We have a cat tower that probably comes up to about my head level, and uh, there's three layers for it. And he's now learned how to climb to the middle section. So it's about here. And so last night he got up there, like so he got himself. He himself got up there, and then he just peeks his head over. He just peeks his head over, like this. And he's like, <laughs> he can't get down. 
<laughs> he doesn't know how to get down. He's too scared to get down. He's too cute. Tyson got zero chill, I know. Allergic to cats. Oh god. For I like Muntha. Muntha's good. No, Kate, Kate, Kate Nippers. If if you and Caustic live closer, you'd be getting Zelda. <laughs> Confirmed. Confirmed. <laughs> Don't even play that game with me. <laughs> that is not for that is not up for uh that is not up for discussion. All right, let me just get the cucumber juice off of the, the board here. Just what's on there, that's fine. I'm not gonna bother like totally rinsing it out and stuff like that. All right, pickles! Pickles. Um, all right, so I need a cup of water. I need a cup of vinegar. Ugh. There we go. All right, we're just gonna pretend like I am drinking all this right now. Oh, look at how much water I'm drinking. I am so good at hydration. <laughs> Tyson. Tyson, dude, you can't. It doesn't exist anymore. Come on, get out, get out. Dude, they're like these little, um, these corners in the, in the ground here. So like over here, give you guys a little anatomy lesson on my house. So like I've got obviously this countertop here and this countertop over here and they meet, but not perfectly. So there's this gap like this in this corner in the uh, in the floorboard type thing right the construction guys didn't bother to like fully seal it off so like there's a gap where he has learned that he can jump in and under so he's actually in this area under like in the void of this countertop and there's two over here over by the sink as well I'm like tyson what are you doing so we had to like mega duct tape it up crazy uh <laughs> what's up is that DRZ? I don't even know how to how that would be pronounced or shortened, but I'll just say DRZ. Um, I have I have an idea for a a subway inspired theme, but that won't be for a while. And Lucy for the weekends, all the pets. <laughs> We would be babyless. All right, and then I need a cup of the rice wine vinegar here, so I'm just gonna... Seriously? Come on. Do, 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 do. All right, let's see. Oh, need a little bit more. Oh, vinegar. There we go. Guys, do we have any science people out there? I want to, um, I want to see if I remember. The, the, the point where if you have water or a liquid and if you look at it and it has like the, the dip, is that called the meniscus? I can't remember. I'm probably wrong and I sound like an idiot, but for some reason that word is sticking in my head. So I got a cup of water and a cup of rice wine vinegar in there. I'm gonna put this away for the time being. I don't think I need that again. Can it pour? I know, King King J. It was really, really slow. I need a tablespoon of salt and three quarters of a cup. Oh my God! Three quarters of a cup of sugar. That's a third. This is a cup. All right. I think that should actually. I think that's about right. Holy sugar, Batman. Goodness, that's that's a lot of sugar. <laughs> that is a lot of sugar. A lot. A lot of sugar. I do need to actually drink water though. Who dat? Bald dudes rule has followed. Thank you very much. That is the word. Sweet Lucy River. Thank you for the confirmation. I am less dumb than I thought I was. <clears throat> yeah, bad bald dudes rule. Thank you for that follow, much appreciated. Welcome to the kitchen. Hopefully you are having an awesome Saturday. We're just celebrating freedom here in my kitchen today. Um, 
trying to get some pickles going here. Here we go, a tablespoon. Did I say one or two tablespoons of salt? What'd I say? One tablespoon, boom. Do, 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 do. And one tablespoon, so I'm gonna bring that to a le boil. A le boil. And that just had salt on it, that's fine. That's fine, who's that? D-R-Z-M-B-P. I don't even know how to say that. <laughs> D-R-Z-M-B-D-P. D-B-P. I, I swear I know how to read. Um, <laughs> but yeah, welcome, welcome to the channel, Paul's Dudes Rule. Oh, anyway, D-R-Z. D-R-Z, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. Hopefully you are still having an awesome day. I think I just asked you or told you that um, or said that or something like that, that, that. Um, here, I'm just going to put bacon on the board just so there's something there you guys can look at it. <clears throat> dummy. All right, dummy. I will try to remember that. There are people that come to the stream that ask to be called a certain thing, and I usually forget. Um, so forgive me. I will try. I will try my darndest to remember, but don't get mad at me if I don't remember. <laughs> like, if you hang out long enough, like, if you come back and, and I get used to it, then, then yeah, but, like, maybe today I, I'll be a little off. But that's to be expected. I have a, a terrible train of thought sometimes. Like, really, it amazes me that I'm able to successfully stream, because I'll just forget things that I say right after I say them. Menu sounds good. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. This is slightly reminiscent to um, a burger that my head chef made on my externship, where he would, uh, like, they, on the main menu, they had um, filet mignon. So we would butcher down whole tenderloins to cut down to the filet mignon, but there's a lot of scrap. Uh, scrap meat on on a tenderloin, on a beef tenderloin that isn't really menu worthy, especially it doesn't make a good steak. It's like really fatty, or just it's like shredded, and it's not it doesn't it's not pretty. Um, so they would we would grind up the leftovers, the the scrap meat of the beef tenderloin and the pork belly that was left over from bacon curing or the other pork belly items that they had on the menu. Grind it all up together, and uh, and then you know serve serve burgers with it. Now I'm gonna take it a step further and stuff the whole thing with blue cheese and uh, working on making some pickles. I just need this thing to come to a boil and if it could take any longer, that would be, I know I can cover it. And I've got to actually, speaking of pork belly, I've got a piece of that in the oven. It's not on the menu, it's just I had it and I wanted to use it. Trip a lot, are you clumsy? <clears throat> Mrs. Lethal is one of the clumsiest people I know. And it starts to rub off on me. I'll start dropping things, and she's like, no, you're not supposed to take after me on those things. I'm like, well. <laughs> like, I'll wake up with a bruise, and I'll be like, where'd that come from? <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Three days ago, I backed into the countertop or something like that. Um, what do I have that I can help accelerate? Oh, let's leave it. We'll just leave it. I'll chat with you guys. Meat patties, mushroom, onion, and gravy. Oh man, that sounds really good. French bread pizza, oh man. Release the cabbage. <sighs> I haven't had French bread pizza in a while. Domestic abuse, nah, it's fine. It's fine, I deserve it. I deserve it. She's watching in the other room. <laughs> Here, <laughs> you can't see me now. Thanks, cabinet. Not getting cut. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lottie. Ouch. Ouch, ouch. Okay, if we're going to share those stories, um, my first, my first, uh, so I went to culinary school and it's broken out. What is that? Oh, so it's broken out like there's foundations classes and stuff like that. In our first foundations class, um, Oh, sorry, my nose is itching. I'll wash my hands. Don't worry. Oh my god. Ah. Okay. So in my first foundations class, we uh, we had a, we had to do a thing, and uh, we have these we had these knives in our kit called tournée knives, and or they're also called bird's beak knives. I think I actually have it over here. Oh man, my nose. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick. But it's it's got a curved blade on it. And it has, it has certain uses uh, that I didn't ever really, like, I just use it to, to be a sharp knife. It's my sharpest knife because I never use it, but, so, it's a, it looks like, kind of like a bird's beak, you know what I mean? 
Release the cabbage. <sighs> so anyway, um, we had to get our knives out to do a, a quiz or something like that, uh, you know, a practical exam. And the chef was like, all right, everybody, you know, get your knives out and don't be stupid and cut yourself getting your knife out. And I cut myself getting my knife out. <laughs> that exact knife. Oh man, we're dancing. We're dancing. Uh, dancing. Let me put it that way. Dancing. We're dancing. We're Ted dancing. All right. Oh man. You guys ever open up like your camera app on your phone while you're looking at it and it's like, and you mean to be taking a picture like out there or something like that, but instead um, the front face is on and it's just like, it looks like this. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that so much. Uh, you're not allowed to post links uh, by default, Luna. Um, if you can convince a moderator to let you whisper it to them and they can check it out um, and then they can permit you. But um, honestly, like I, it won't be till after the stream that I check it out. Honest, I'm just being honest. So in general, we don't allow links because we've had some less than savory people try to try to screw us up here. Ain't gonna let that happen. All the time. It's always such a love of I know it sucks so much. It sucks so much. So I, that just happened to me. Like I, I saw like tweets coming in. I was like, what? My face, my face is so chinny. I have such a chin. Uh, what did I come in here for? Oh man, my nose is itching like crazy. All right, so my water, sugar, salt, vinegar mixture has come to a boil. So, what was the wording on this? Remove from the heat, add the cucumbers and stir, cover with, okay. What are you doing, Thai bread? What are you doing, Thai bread? Remove from heat. Remo here, I'll tell you what, I'll remove from heat over here. Oh man. Cheeky. All right, add cucumbers, but do it carefully. Okay, he's, he's, he's laying down, you can't see it. Tyson is laying down right in my way. <laughs> like, please, please. Okay. That, that's pretty good. I didn't, I didn't get splashed. I did not get splashed. I appreciate not being splashed upon. Cucumbers, please. There we go. Give it a nice stir. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm about to say my water broke. Yeah, Tyson, Tyson's like, I don't care. Pay attention to me. This is already starting to smell like pickles. Pickles, like Tommy Pickles. Anybody? Anybody? Oh yeah, Twitter. Twitter's a good way to get me to, to check something out as long as it's not malicious. Otherwise, I will, I will, I will report you. I will report you. Uh, I do not. Who has that? Um, Dami. No, I do not actually work as a chef. Um, so I mentioned my externship a moment ago. You were here, I think. Um, well, at least your name was here. Um, anyway, so my externship, um, where, I, where we made those burgers, was actually like the worst experience of my life. So I decided that the, the restaurant life, not really for me. So I, uh, I teach people on the internet instead. And if you stick around for long enough, you'll see like, I'm not just cooking for the sake of cooking or for entertaining. I mean, a lot of it is entertaining, hopefully. I try to be entertaining. Uh, whether I succeed or not, that's completely up to you guys to, to come back and, and let me know. I try though, but... um. So two of my major passions are cooking and teaching. So if you stick around and get past the horrible dancing that I'm doing, um, you'll see I start to drop knowledge bombs on why I'm doing things and like, like why I'm about to set a 10, ten minute timer, kitchen timer, let's do a nine minute and 30 timer. Um, Cause I'm not about just doing things for the sake of doing them. Oh dude, Tyson, bro, bro, what are you doing, man? Oh, that could have been, that could have been awful. He's just gonna lay, you're just gonna lay right there, aren't you? Yeah. 
Also guys, let me know if the necklaces are, are hitting the microphone and, and being annoying or anything like that. I'll take care of it. Ah, Tyson. I gotta remember, he's right there. Oh my God, Weddy Fap. That Rugrats reference, yes, you guys are. Oh, Weddy Fap, Weddy Fap followed. I didn't say hello to you, did I? Whatever, it's a great name. But uh, I don't think I thanked you officially for the follow. It must have came in at the same time as uh, DRZ, Dami. But um, thank you so much for that. Um, thank you for that follow, it really does mean a lot. Um, let me see, if anyone is out there, um, it's been a while how long we've been live, about an hour and a half. Uh, if anyone wants to chuck out the CTT link, uh, if you guys want to spread some hype, if you're having a good time, and you want to tell your, if you have followers on Twitter that you think might enjoy what's going on here, um, I'm not going to stop you from tweeting me out. <laughs> Most definitely. So the next thing I got to do that's going to be the most time consuming is cutting up the potatoes, which I have over here. So we're going to make some french fries. Thank you very much for that, Kate Nippers. Uh, Lottie Latte, Soul Hex is hosting me. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for that host. I appreciate that very, very much. But you hosted me earlier. Were you streaming before when you stopped by? <laughs> um, take my love. Oh, it's mine. Lou Von Pixie, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the kitchen. It means a lot to me that you hit that follow button. Hopefully you're having a great day. <clears throat> I become the hunted. Um, but Lottie Latte, I've actually seen, I'm gonna go rinse off the, uh, the potatoes here, so I'm gonna go off camera and talk to you guys for a second. But um, I've actually seen those, and it's mostly, in my, in my experience, those type of tools are mostly used for grilling. Um, so like you could, you could, uh, you know, spatula eyes, you know, something on there, like if you needed to flip it and then you needed to cut it or something like that. Oh, work, you have the worst timing. Also guys, I am technically on the clock with my actual like nine to five job. Um, so I do have to do a small amount of that for a moment here. It won't take too long. I'll bring it over so I can talk to you guys while I'm doing it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's like as long as I can get the work done and stream, and I don't neglect the work, then we're good. We're good. Gotta, gotta get that money. Gotta get paid, yo. Gotta give the D2S love. Oh yeah, Soul Hex is right. Oh, you know what, guys? I tell you what, Soul Hex is in the chat. Soul Hex's world. He and I did a, a cool, um, we did a, a collaboration a few weeks ago. Was it two weeks ago? I forget, Soul. But can I get a moderator to please get an exclamation point caster command for Mr. Soul Hex? Guys, he is like, this close to 3,000 followers. Unless he hit it on his stream today, I'm not entirely sure. He may have, he may have not. He's a very entertaining guy, plays a lot of video games, a lot of different types of video games, variety caster, I see him playing a lot of League, or this Yu-Gi-Oh card game, something like that. Check him out, he's part of uh, our Dream to, Dream to Stream stream team. Um, so Dream to Stream is a stream team that I am a part of. Um, if you would like to have more information about that, you can whisper me, but uh, it's it's really for for primarily streamers and, and also just audience members. If you want to, you know, we help each other out and help each other grow, give feedback. Uh, it's a nice community to network and stuff like that. Um, so it's 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 pretty great. Not quite. Oh man, can we get can we get three? Uh, only if you're interested. Like, don't just. I mean, I say go go check him out and follow him, but only if you think that you might be interested in that sort of thing. Like, don't follow him just for the sake of hitting the button and hitting him over 3K. Although I'm sure he would still love it. Um, but I, I, like I said, I do have to do just a, a smidgen of work here. Let's go back to bacon cam here. There we go. Um, somebody asked. Uh, King J, yeah, I just have an office job. It's a nine to five, just boring. Uh, I'm not gonna get into the specifics of it uh, cause that would not be kosher. Um, like my salt, oh. But no, so it's just a, it's just a, it's a job. <laughs> it pays the bills basically. Uh, send, okay. So, uh, you know, gotta do what you gotta do, man. Gotta get that hustle. Oh man, Lucy River. Lottie Latte. So my normal schedule, and I say normal because I think this week's gonna be a little bit weird because I've got some personal stuff going on, but my normal, my normal schedule is uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays night, like 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight. So like now plus 
seven hours is when I normally start. And those are my cooking streams. Saturdays, I'm usually live at like eight or nine. And it's usually, it's gonna be my, my normal, what I'm trying to do is, is my Saturday streams be gaming because it's easy and uh, I don't have to wake up my wife and all this stuff. Um, so that's my normal, that's my normal schedule. I always, it seems like lately I've been switching things around just because it's more convenient. I wanted today to be like this epic meal. So I wanted to do it on the weekend, but uh, like during the week I'll cook healthier meals um, healthier weeknight meals uh, that are a little bit easier to stream uh, or at least more relatable uh, for the general public. Uh, my job, uh, Dami, I'd, it's fine. It's challenging at times. There are times when I want to bash my brains in. Um, so it's, I guess it's really like any job that most people have, you know, it's like, it's fine. It has its moments, you know, and it's, it's fine. You know, I can't, I can't say anything bad about it, but it's cool. It's cool. Um, a lot of opportunity for use for me to use my brain. It's not cooking, which I guess would be ideal, but just needs a bigger beer for that. Yeah, I don't think Miss I don't think Mrs. Lethal would like that very much, Caustic. Um, I probably wouldn't like that very much. That'd be a little bit. would be a little bit much. Like I'd be scratchy. It'd be all in my microphone, which I have right here. So, again, guys, let me know if the if the jangly is here. <laughs> are, are annoying unto thee. Um, let me do that. What are you doing? All right, perfect. So that's good. And they just changed their mind, so I gotta do something else. Luckily, I mean, we're, we're waiting anyway. Like, the pickles are pickling. Um, and so after, I got two more minutes on the timer. We got two minutes on the timer, so once those come out, I'll dump them into a thing, put them in the fridge until we're ready to use them. Used to turtle math, turtle. Used to turtle. <laughs> Used to turtle. Used to turtle mathematic. He's sleeping. Tyson is sleeping on the. For flip's sake. Do you see this? Do you see this crap I gotta put up with? Look at this. Look at this. I'm just gonna leave the camera like this. I'll probably get, I'll probably hit my thousand followers today if I just leave it like this. How's that guys? Does that sound okay? I mean, really. Ridiculous, man. It's absolutely ridiculous. Why is he so tired? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's do this smart. I'm gonna be moving the camera around, guys, so just bear with any shakiness. I think it was about here, right? I think that's about where that was. Actually, I think I need to go over a little bit more. I don't want the hallway, but I want like there. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mark Onkel, welcome to the welcome to the kitchen. Thank you for that follow. Hopefully you're having an awesome day. Really appreciate that you hit that that follow button. <clears throat> welcome to the kitchen. If you if you saw that cat, that's Tyson, our foster kitty. He's he's just sleeping in the middle of the kitchen. It's like the worst place to do such a thing. I just got to finish up my, my one little task here. Oh, that's our timer. Do, 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 do. Can you please, please? Okay, thank you. Ah. Now I got to be really careful about him. More careful than usual. No one can stop me now. So turn off the lights. I was my plan is to marry somebody who likes cooking. Do it, Dommy. Do it. You should totally do it. Because one of the one of the better things about 
Cooking is cooking for somebody else. So if you find somebody that loves to do that, true love, one shot law. Thank you for that follow. I don't even know if the alert came in yet, but I see it on my dashboard. Thank you very much for that. Hopefully you are having a magnificent day. I love you for being here and hanging out with us. Were you enticed by bacon cam? Where is it? Here, aha, bacon, bacon. <laughs> All right, there we go. So I'm gonna keep the bacon off to the side, get my work laptop to flip out of here because it ain't time to work, it's time to cook. Let me grab my taters. Oh yeah, so taters grabbed. Cool. Oh man, Tyson, Tyson bro. Tyson man, what are you doing? <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated. Gotta stay hydrated. I have such a bad habit of not doing that that I just said. Uh, yes, uh, can we get a moderator to permit Solhex to post a link? Pretty please. So yeah, Sol, wait for the permit and then you will be good to go, my man. Wow, these are already turned, these are already turned a little bit uh, color, that's good. I'll show you guys as soon as I scoop it in. The pickles are no longer that vibrant green that they once were. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, hopefully this turns out okay. I've never actually made this type of pickle. It smells like a pickle though. I'll tell you. This might be good. This might be good. This should be good anyway. It's what I'm waiting for. All right, so just scooping out the pickles, scooping, scooping. So look at that, we got some pickles. We got ourselves some pickles. Now, I need to check my notes to see if I need to uh, put the curing liquid in there, the pickling liquid in there. So, you can't really tell so much, but they're not as vivid as they once were. And they smell like pickles, though. That's good. All dudes rule, thank you for that follow on Twitter, man. Appreciate it. I'm just gonna dance while I check to make sure. So I'm gonna check the, uh, I'm gonna check the website I got the pickles recipe from. Uh, I never knew that I enjoyed the, uh, the music from Mega Man so much until it like came on random on a, like a, a Spotify weekly update thing. And I was like, holy crap. This is great! I love it! It's like nostalgia! Oh yeah, discard. Okay, so top with liquid and then discard the rest. So we good, we good. So... In order to prevent massive spillage, I have to take a wide berth around my kitchen too. I'm gonna grab uh, just a ladle here. A ladle. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I'm not dying. I'm fine. I'm just gonna grab a ladle, a ladle hosen, and we're just gonna top off the pickles here with some of the fluid, the pickling fluid, just enough to cover there we go. Maybe a little bit more. We could use a little bit more. Little, little. A little ladle. A little ladle. Man, it's amazing anyone stops by here. <laughs> I offend, I'm an equal opportunity offender. Let's say that. All right, there we go. So now I've got pickles submerged in their own pickling juice. That's going to help it kind of cure a little bit more, which is kind of what we're going for here. 
I'm gonna stick it in the refrigerator after I find a lid. That's not the right lid. This is. I just said snot. Oh, geez. Slam the door, why don't you, chef? Also, guys, I want to make mention, uh, we haven't been raided today, have we? No, we have not been raided. Do, do, do. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. Um, let's see, Mega Man. No, Mega Man was on um, Nintendo. Mega Man was on Nintendo, man. All Nintendo products. I think Mega Man 2 was my favorite. I used to play it all the time on my Game Boy. My Game Boy with the green screen. That's, I mean, that's like the OG right there, right? Um, somebody else. You said Saturdays you play games usually, what kind? So, Lottie Latte, uh, I'm, I'm kind of behind on games, honestly. Um, so, like I started, I started streaming playing Minecraft and I still have some, some Minecraft content on my YouTube channel. And then I started streaming Stardew Valley because that game is amazing and I've got a lot of content on my YouTube channel, Stardew Valley. In fact, I've recorded so much Stardew Valley because the game is ridiculously addicting that uh, I've had to post episodes twice a day just to keep up because I'm already like a week ahead. Posting two episodes a day of Stardew Valley, I'm, I'm a week ahead. Um, also right now I'm playing Shadow of Mordor, which is like such an awesome game. I'm a huge Lord of the Rings nerd and the game just gets me. It's so much fun. It's brutal. Um, it's just great. I absolutely love it. A uh, cool thing that actually happened to me uh, the other day, when was I streaming that? Today is, today is Saturday. I was streaming that on, when was I streaming that? On Thursday, I guess. Yeah, Thursday. The actual community manager for Shadow of Mordor was in my stream and he tweeted me out. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. It was funny because I got this random tweet. Like I got this random tweet and this guy was like, you guys should check Chef Lethal Plays out. He's playing Shadow of Mordor and his skill, his knife skills are translate to the game or something like that. And I was like, all right, whoever that is, thank you for that random tweet. And then he tweeted me back. He's like, hey, sorry, I'm the community guy for Shadow of Mordor. Just wanted to tweet you out. You're doing great. And I was like, holy crap, this is amazing. Amazing. Mighty Number no. 9 is certainly... So I heard bad things. I heard really bad things about Mighty Number no. 9. I heard really bad things about it. Get on that Overwatch. You know, I, I, played the, I played the open beta. Oh, this potato has... This is a problem. If this entire potato looks like this... Oh, shoot. Okay, this potato looks like crap. So I'm going to get into the potato game here. Uh, while we chat. Yeah, I'm, I mean, it's just amazing, so that game is, is incredible. Never seen or read any of the Lord of the Rings, but I got my son the book collection. Anthony R83, what's up? Can you ship me one of those burgers with fries? Maybe, maybe. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna slice a little bit off of the side of the potato here, so we have like a uh, an even surface to work with, so it's safe. You know what I mean? There we go. So now I have stability. That's very important, is to have stability, especially when you're dealing with a sharp knife, a hopefully a sharp knife. Um, maybe in the future I'll suggest you for my friend. Oh yeah, did I mention anything about? I meant to mention my raid game, totally forgot about it. I got sidetracked talking about Lord of the Rings. Um, yeah, Daddy's Gamer Girl, I am a huge Lord of the Rings nerd. Um, I have list I have the audiobooks. So I've listened to the entire series uh, three times, I think. I've seen the movies a few times. I'm trying to be really careful here with the, the cuts. I want to be pretty even. I'm going for kind of thin fries here. They'll cook quicker that way, obviously. So there we go. <laughs> All right, Anthony, sounds good, man. Paragon's where it's at. The Colossus of Clout, what's up? Welcome to the stream. What is it? Paragon, I've never even heard of that. Have you guys, have any of you guys played uh, Quantum Break? The game looked really cool, but I heard kind of meh things about it. It looked like it had a pretty cool concept, though. 
So right now I'm just kind of creating these, what I, I always call these panels. I don't think they're technically called panels, but who's being technical anyway? And they're all relatively the same uh, length. I've got one here that's kind of a little bit thicker than the others, or width, not length. And this piece has potato cancer. <laughs> Uh, so I'm just checking because that potato, this potato, like when I cut into it, had a big dark spot and it looks like I've got another one right there. So I'm just going to chop that right out. I'm more of a Game of Thrones nerd. I've read all the books. Don't really like the show. I tell you what, Wade, if I've, I've read those books too. Audiobook is where it's at. Because I have such a commute for work, uh, I downloaded all the books on Audible and, uh, and I would just listen to them on my way to work. And uh, it was it was pretty sweet, pretty swell. All right, so I'm I'm going to be a little bit more meticulous than I usually am with these potatoes, uh, just because I want them to be pretty even. And I'm gonna fail at that. I'll I'll, I'll tell you right now, it's not gonna be perfect, but I want it to be relatively the same, so they all do cook approximately at the same time. So far, these are looking pretty good. So far, so far, pretty happy with these. Looking nice, looking real nice. And I'll just go like this. And do you guys like the potato skin like portion when you're eating french fries? Cause I do. Oh, that looks really good, look. That's a pretty good, this is a pretty good looking french fry. I gotta say, I'm pretty excited about that. Also, this song is my ringtone. And every time it comes on my playlist, I'm like, I'm being summoned. And no, I'm not being summoned. But a little bit of do. All right, Soul, thanks very much for being here, man. Thank you so much for being here and dropping that host for hanging out, chatting. means a lot to me, man. So I think you're probably like, what, one away from, from 3K now, Soul. We'll get you there. We'll get you there, man. I'll create, I'll get my bot to follow you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, that's a good call there, Daddy's Game of Girl. Should put a timer so we know how long the food you're cooking takes. Uh, that's not a bad idea. How am I gonna season the fries? Probably just some salt, Anthony. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm either a purist or a crazy person when it comes to my potatoes, like my french fries. I was feeling like if I had some truffle salt, I would throw some truffle salt on here. I do enjoy that very, very much. But unfortunately, I don't think I have any. You know, I may have some smoked salt. Ooh, if I could find my smoked salt, that would actually be pretty good. So again, guys, I'm just taking my time with the potatoes here because I want it to be, I want it to be pretty even. Normally I'm, I play pretty loose and fast with my potato cutting, but uh, today, today for you guys, I want to make sure that it looks okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I read them one chat, one character at a time. Oh, dang. Do, 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 do. Cayenne. No, I probably won't do any cayenne. Put Cajun seasoning on my fries. That's also very good. I just think for today, I want to kind of keep it kind of simple. You know, it's America. America, very simple. <laughs> All right, chop off the uh, the ends there. And then again, I'm just going to... I want to go this way. I want to go this way. So I need to chop a little bit off the bottom here. Or a lot. Goodness gracious, chef, really? Whoops. <laughs> Potato lives matter, guys. <laughs> truffle salt while doing the truffle. Well, it's a good thing that I don't have... It's a good thing I don't have the truffle salt thing because I definitely don't want to do the truffle shuffle. So I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to kick up the speed here a little bit while maintaining evenness. Um, there are tools for this sort of thing if you really wanted to oh that's a really bad one um like the bigger size mandolins usually have a, a contraption where you can do this um there are machine like handheld lever things that are just like a grate and it, you put the potato in and pull a lever and it pushes the potato through a lot of restaurants do that that make their own french fries like uh five guys burgers and fries that's how they make their french fries they cut them through that type of machine just have they just cut them right into a big bucket of water. Um, so it's very spectacular. So I'm just going here, looking good. 
Looking good. I live in Indiana. You don't get more American than that. Okay, you know what? I gotta, I gotta say, I agree. <laughs> um, anyway, so I've also got a bowl of water over here that I'm putting the potatoes in. Um, it serves, it serves a few purposes. Uh, purpose number one is it prevents the potatoes from browning because it's submerged in water and the air. Potatoes don't really like air that much, so if you leave it out too long, uh, it will, they'll start to like turn red, reddish. And it's not the most appetizing thing to look at in the world, I admit. Uh, but they're still they're still all right. I'm gonna leave those just like that. But also, it, it's gonna help wash away some of the uh, the starch that's on the potatoes, and that's very important as well. Um, starch is like the enemy of of good good French fries. Uh, there's actually a, a technique that I was gonna try to do today, but I don't have one of the ingredients. Is where you boil the potatoes. You boil the cut potatoes. When you boil the potatoes in uh, vinegar water, vinegared water, uh, like uh, using white distilled vinegar, uh, you boil them for like 10 minutes to get a lot of, it, it, it has to do with like pectin and the way that the potato starch acts in the vinegar and blah, 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 science, science, science. Basically, um, it's kind of how McDonald's does it and how their French fries are always super crispy all the time and they stay that way. Um, I was gonna do that on stream today, but again, I, I forgot about the vinegar when I went to the grocery store yesterday. So we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna do the traditional two fry method where we're gonna fry it for a few minutes at a lower temperature. And then when we're ready to, to really eat, we're gonna put it into hotter hotter oil. So I feel pretty good about these potatoes right now. Like I did a, I did a pretty good, decent job at taking my time and making sure they're all pretty evenly uh, cut. I'm happy with that. I'm happy. So there we go. I'm gonna let that sit. Take my glove off because I don't need that no more. Oh, get my head out the way. Get your head out the way, man. So what's everybody up to today? How you guys doing? One of the cob burgers and fried chicken. Anthony R83, thank you for that follow. Much appreciated. Hopefully you're having a great day Ooh, and stuff. Happy Saturday. I'm having a good time. I am jamming, Lottie. I'm having a good time today. Today's a good, today's a good day. Make the ground shake. Gotta, gotta make sure my, my work laptop doesn't time me out. Otherwise I'll be like, uh, chef, why are you not online? I'll be like, no, I'm online. Trust me. Z4R9, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a good day. Thank you for that follow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hopefully you're again, you are also having a great day. Did you just call my, my, did you just call my stream a quality cooking stream? Holy moly. That really does make me feel pretty good, man. I got to admit, <laughs> like I'm a total goofball, but things like that really help me keep going. Really helps boost my confidence, especially coming in here unsolicited like that, hitting that follow button. Really appreciate it, my man or my person, my human, depending on your gender and or things and stuff. All right. So I'm just off camera right now, getting the potato starch off of my knife. I'm not really going to bother doing a, a full rinse job because I don't think that's entirely necessary. Yeah, I don't think it's entirely necessary. All right, really good, good, good. Okay, cool. Don't cut yourself, chef. It would be the first time. You even have an apron. I know I do have an apron. I love my apron. There's a new addition to the stream. I really like it. <laughs> Somebody asked if I have to work. Yeah, I have to. I have to do a little bit of work. I'm doing like a like an overtime type shift right now, so occasionally I'll have to be I'll have to be drawn away to do a quick thing. Um, but for the most part, it should be pretty quiet. Oh, geez, bacon, please. Um, 
Oh man, this song though. This song though. Holy crap. Holy crap, this song. So, what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm gonna do the first fry on the potatoes. This shouldn't still be hot. All right. Let me clean this up a little bit. I'm already out of paper towels. Holy moly. What is happening today? Tyson, please. All right. Because I got a little bit of that vinegar mixture on the burner and I just don't want it to burn her on the burner. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, man? Oh, hello. I'm not just, I'm not just saying hello to air, people. <laughs> Mrs. Lethal's off camera. Just saying hi to my bride. That's all. <laughs> he has no interest in moving. She's trying to convince Tyson that he needs to leave the middle of the, the kitchen. He's slowly, he's getting there, he's getting there. Fry some chicken, oh man. Oh, thank you, King. Thank you, King. I will do it. Wife cameo, nah, she's off camera today, guys. She's off camera. I get to see her, though. That's why they call me Whiskers. Oh, not sponsored. <laughs> All right. Woo. Get hydrated. Uh. Okay. So I got taters. <laughs> Mrs. Lethal has got all the cats. She's sitting on the ground to get Tyson over and now she's surrounded by cats. It's adorable. Okay. So I need to get where she is. <laughs> you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. I uh, just need some paper towels and some Earl. Let me get some Earl. Is that open? No, that's not open. I don't want to use that one. Oh shoot. No, we're fine. Everything's fine. Just off camera, getting some oil. Oh, it's my jam. These are all my jam. You're... We should have a that's my jam counter. How many times do I say so that something is my jam? Let's see, this is vegetable oil and that is also pure vegetable oil. Let's get down on some vegetable oil. Let's get down on fried eggs. We're not making fried eggs though. Buttermilk fried chicken, so good. So good, I made that on stream a couple months ago. I made that on stream, it was awesome. Some buttermilk fried chicken a la Chick-fil-A. Put it in a waffle bun. Like I made a Belgian waffle and that was the bun for my sandwich. It was it was pretty ridiculous. Uh, I have to admit, it was kind of ridiculous. So we just got some vegetable oil. The Pims is here. What's up, Pims? Welcome to the stream, man. Hopefully you're having a good uh, good Saturday so far. It's still pretty early for you. Oh, here we go. So just dumping some earl. Dumping the earl. Spaghetti. If you can't hear the music, this makes my dancing a lot more awkward. Dancing. Come on, oil. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the container because I'll be able to strain the oil back into there after the stream is over and reuse it. Spaghetti. Pam's hopefully doing, it's weird, is it? Like, I don't know what level of irony it is that yesterday was like National Canada Day or something like that. And then today or Monday is uh, the 4th of July. Was that planned? Did Canada hear about America becoming America and be like, aha, we got it first. Obviously, it didn't happen in the same year. I'm just saying. Put your hands up. All right. Much to my chagrin, I'm refilling my water. Only because it's too early for wine <laughs> or rum. 
Okay, I'm done. Um, so I gotta drain, drain the taters. Also, I wanna use my, um, I have a specific fry thermometer, and not saying like a French fry thermometer, it's a frying thermometer, a thermometer specifically for frying and or candy making. And if I could find it, that would be like really great. Um, huh, okay, hold on. I'm sure, I'm sure I can find it. Didn't I just, you know, it'd also be great. Okay, bad puns, bad puns, bad puns. It wouldn't be a Chef Lethal stream if we didn't have some puns. Uh, um, where is my thing, man? Uh, actually, this will come in handy. There's a spider whisk thingajig that will help us get the potatoes out of the thing. I just keep saying thing. I'm just gonna keep using that word instead of using actual like nouns. Does that sound okay to you guys? If I just get the thing, maybe it's a, I'm just losing my mind. Um, so it's not always time for wine and rum. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Is it weird when your birthday is three days before someone celebrates their birth, their divorce? Uh, yes. Oh, the pork belly is actually looking pretty good, guys. Uh, oh, it smells good too. It smells like pork and belly. It smells like pork belly. Wow, what a crazy concept. Oh, here it is. It's been in front of my face the whole time. It was front and center. All right, so I'm going to lower. Get up. There we go. I get very timid when I, when I fry things, guys. So I'm not using a ton of oil because I've, I've had some bad experience. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've had some pretty bad experiences while frying and I do not wish to repeat those because that would be bad. How are we doing out there, everybody? We're doing good, we're doing good, man. We're doing good. There's a lot of beautiful people in the chat today. There's a bunch of beautiful people in the chat today and I love you so much for being here. If I say that too much for you, then I'm, uh, I'm gonna need you to just kind of kindly get over that because I love my, I love my viewers. I love my audience. I love my chat. I love everyone out there. I love my lurkers, especially. So great, so great. So I got a bowl and I'm going to put the, the cooked potatoes in. Meanwhile, I'm going to get the, the, the oil pot I have over here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat onto that. I want the oil to reach like 325 degrees Fahrenheit, which is approximately like 160 degrees Celsius. And I only know that because it's on the thing. I only just started frying food myself a couple months ago. I'm almost 20. Yeah, I hear you, Lottie. Um, I was older than that when I started frying food. I didn't, okay, so to be fair, I didn't really start cooking until I was probably about 18 or so. I don't know, I was, I was pretty old considering. I just had no interest in it. And then, and then uh, I, was, I was taught on the Food Network and then it all changed from there. And then it all changed. Thug ta okay, hold on everybody. Hold on everybody. Thug Tacos has just followed the stream. Sunny Vice, what's up man? Welcome to the stream. Thug Tacos. I love that name. I love that name so very much. Thug Tacos, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the kitchen. Hopefully you're having an awesome day. Oil is starting to heat up, so we're doing all right. We're doing all right. So the first step here, the first step to awesome potatoes is to uh, cook them in batches. So I'm just gonna take a handful here and put these over here. Also guys, I'm gonna cook the whole batch. I have a bad habit of um, like if, I, if, I, if I'm making something on stream that like I have multiple servings of, I usually only cook like one on stream and then I'm left with more food to cook off stream. And I usually end up either getting really lazy with it or I don't cook it. Um, and it goes to waste occasionally. Um, so I'm gonna try not to do that. I'm gonna cook all these potatoes, all these French fries. 
<laughs> those tacos didn't choose the thug life. The thug life chose those potatoes. That's awesome. Yes. Yes, Caustic. You get it. Caustic gets it. Thug tacos, man. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Oh, bum, bum. So I'm making sure the potatoes are really dry. Uh, it would be really, really, really bad if these were wet when they went into the oil. Like that would be horrible. We would have a problem. Did I say potatoes, Caustic? I got potatoes on the mind, man. You got to forgive me. You got to forgive me. So this looks good. I got some really dry potatoes here. So I'm going to put these in the holding bin or the holding... Uh, thing over here. I'm just gonna place them, place them right here. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Guys, I don't mind you. I don't mind you talking the politics about the whole EU thing. Uh, let's just. I know you are. I, I know what I'm about to say. You're doing. So don't think I'm trying to like be darude or anything like that. Just, just keep it civil. It, I know you guys are, um, but I don't want anything to get kind of out of hand. I don't mind. I don't mind the talk though. As long as you guys keep it cool, then I'm cool. So there's already, there's like this, there's a white film basically in the, in the bowl of water and it's all the potato starch that is being, you know, kind of gently rinsed away from the potatoes, uh, which is perfect. Exactly what we want. Hey, Sunny Vice. I had fun. If you guys don't know, I was on a podcast that was uh, broadcast last week. Um... It's been tweeted. I tweeted about it when it came out. I think it was Wednesday it was released. Uh, but yeah, Sunny Vice is the uh, the leader, the leader supreme, I guess, of the of the podcast. And we talked a little bit. If you're interested in learning about like how I got started streaming, or I mean, just some of the stuff kind of that I don't normally usually talk about, or just it was basically a Q and A session at the end. But uh, you should go check it out. It's the Work Print, and uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. It was a lot of fun to be on that. Although it was super late, because like one of the members that does it is on the West Coast. And it was like midnight when I went to sleep and I was like, this is way past my bedtime. Tyson's back and he's laying right in the middle of the kitchen. So you went to culinary school uh, or is it a mixture of self-taught learning from family and friends in school? Uh, Anthony, I'll say I started learning cooking from television, uh, from Good Eats specifically on the Food Network, Alton Brown. He's my best friend. I've met him a few times. Um, so that was how I started, and then I'm going to drink some water. Mrs. Lethal and I played some some rum-induced uh, Rocket League for the first time yet last night, so we got to make sure I stay hydrated, because I woke up today and my head was thumping. I was like, oh, streaming ought to be really fun with a thumping headache. Anyway, so I, uh, I start... Oh, is that... <laughs> um, so I started, I started with Good Eats and that really got me going and then through the years after that I started to develop my own passion. Uh, I do a lot of reading. I'm interested in not only just cooking in general but also the science of cooking and why things happen when you cook. Um, can't handle this liquor. Dude, we had a lot. Plus I was kind of dehydrated yesterday. Um, so it was, it was fine. Um, it's fine guys. Um, anyway, so I learned how to do that and then I kept reading and getting better on my own and then where I live there's a Le Cordon Bleu nearby, um, like a Le Cordon Bleu branch nearby and so I went and checked it out and signed up and went to school for it and learned a crap ton of stuff. Boop, boop. Boop. Anyway, learned a crap ton of stuff, determined that the restaurant life isn't for me, and I love teaching people too much. This is taking a real, I'm gonna go ahead and crank the heat on this. Um, if you're ever gonna fry anything, so I'm gonna give you chef's tips for frying. Do not leave your oil unattended, okay? Because oil has a lot different properties than water. So like, if I turn my, my burner to high and this was water, I could walk away and like 10 minutes later come back and it's fine. Like, it would maybe start like, bubbling with with oil because of the the, the properties of oil and the way it, it reacts to heat it heats up a lot faster um, so always supervise 
because you don't want to come back. You could really have a really big problem if you cranked it up, walked away, and came back. You could either, it could, it, it could combust. You could have spontaneous combustion and burn your house down. Uh, it could get really smoky and smell up your house for days. Um, don't mind me. Oh, we never mind you, uh, Pims, but thanks for being here, man. I really appreciate you hanging out today. Um, really do appreciate. Um, please, Tyson, Tyson, bro, I need this cable. I need the cable in one piece. Thank you. One piece. One piece. Ty okay. Okay. So after the the uh, upgrade bar down at the bottom of the uh, of the stream is filled up, my next goal is going to be getting a wireless microphone because this cat right now is driving me insane. Tyson, please, man, you're embarrassing me. Tyson, Tyson, Tyson! Stop. <laughs> I just see it popping out and we have a big problem. The stank Febreze can fix, exactly. Also don't use, yeah, do not use water on oil fires. Uh, I learned from my relatives as a kid, then had four years of culinary arts baking. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. We had to, um, we had to, uh, we had to do a baking class uh, in school, and that's how I gained most of my weight during culinary school. Like it was, you know, it was about a year and some change that I was in school, and uh, and we're talking twelve weeks. Was it twelve weeks or six? I think it was six weeks of bread and cakes and biscuit. Like every day for six weeks, breads, cookies. Tiramisu, creme brulee, flan, like just anything. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. Teamwork. Anyway, my brother tried to dump water on an oil fire. Oh my God. Yikes. That's, that's not cool. Luckily everyone's okay. If I start to ignore chat, I, I, if you're, okay, so if you're new to the stream, I try to stay on top of chat as best as I can, as bestest. Um, and I try to interact with you guys. Hopefully that's, that's being seen. You guys can tell. Um, but while I'm heating up this oil, I'm going to be stepping away pretty frequently just to make sure that I don't burn my own house down. I'm going to get... I need something to put the par-cooked potatoes in. Oh, I know what I want. I know what I want. What I would like is a sheet tray. I would like a sheet tray that I'm going to put right here. Oh, nope. Let's go like that, I guess. Yeah, we look okay. So I'm going to put that like that. I'm going to line it with some heavy duty aluminum foil to make clean up a snap. A little like that. And just carefully. Guys, I smell the, the pork that I have in the, uh, in the oven is wafting and the smell is intoxicating. What other adjectives can I use? Uh, that wasn't an adjective, those were verbs. I know grammar. <laughs> Baking soda, yeah. Oh man. I think flour works too, Lottie. Um, I've, oh, I've only had one experience like that and I don't care to do it again, so I don't wanna test it. I also don't wanna give out false information um, or, you know, or have anyone say, well, chef said I could use flour and they use flour and it like explodes or something like that. Uh, totes don't want that to happen. Chris Jord, Chris Yord, Chris, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the kitchen. Hopefully you're doing awesome today. Hopefully you're having a great day. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the kitchen. Thank you and welcome for everything. Just welcome to anything. Just welcome. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I'm going to line this with some papier towels. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to par cook these potatoes, right? So I'm going to get them so that at a relatively low heat temperature, so like, like I said, 325 Fahrenheit, so that the interior of the potato will cook, but the exterior will not brown, okay? And then I'm gonna make sure they're really nice and dry. 
and then I'm going to freeze them, put them in the freezer for a little bit, and then when we're ready to like actually cook, and like when the burgers are ready, I'm gonna put them in hotter oil, like probably closer to 400, maybe not quite 400, but hotter oil, and uh, that'll crisp the outside and heat it all the way through. Exactly what Lottie, Lottie said. Yeah. Totes, I feel yous, I feel yous. So we're up to about 300. So it's about like 150 Celsius. I'm gonna go ahead and add the first batch of potatoes. Now, as soon as I add this, the temperature of the oil is gonna drop a little bit. I'm okay with that. I think 325 was a little bit too high for what I was thinking that we wanna do. So I'm gonna drop these in carefully and give it a nice little agitation here. And so we have bubbling. We're good, we're not gonna overflow. Okay, we're not gonna overflow. That's what screwed me up when I had an incident the first time was I, I put too much oil in the pan and when I put the, the potatoes in, it overflowed and it was, it was terrifying. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna reduce the heat just a touch just to kind of equalize closer to 300. And I'm gonna let that go for about two minutes all right, so we're coming down to about 300 right now. Right, so I was gonna monitor that and make sure we're good. And it's 11.57 now, so around 11.59, I'll probably take these guys out. If they get a little brown, it's okay, but really we don't want, we don't want too much browning. Just enough to soften, just to soften. And it's hovering at 300, so I'm gonna keep an eye on that. I'm gonna move this batch over. Oh yeah, Anthony, that sounds like a good idea. To be honest, I don't actually cook steak. I can't eat it. Chewing sucks. Oi. I've taken to throwing cast iron pans for those purposes in the oven to get them in the right temperature without getting the food too hot. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, screaming hot Z Z4. I don't like that either. Good steak shouldn't be too chewy. Yeah, what Z4 said. <laughs> Z4 knows what's up. But it also, I mean, it just depends on what cut it is too. I mean, it could be, you know, it could be kind of chewy. All right, so we're a little bit below 300 now. I'm not gonna panic, I'm not gonna worry. But they're starting to float. They're starting to float, so that's good, that's good. I'm just gonna, just using the, the, the spider thing here to just keep them moving and, uh, you know, make sure that the heat is evenly distributed and, and stuff like that. I'm really, I'm, I'm really happy with the way I cut these potatoes too. Like, if you're new to the stream and you think I'm just trying to like inflate my ego, let me tell you that that, that will never happen. Uh, I'm very honest about the things that I do. Um, I, don't, I don't stream to inflate my ego. I stream because I love it and I want to teach you guys how to do these things. Uh, so if I screw something up, I'm going to just flat out tell you that I screwed something up. I have no shame about that because I can't learn and get better if I don't screw something up and admit to it. Like if I screw it up and I'm like, oh, everything's fine, then what's the point? You know, I mean, I'm sure there's a part of it that you're here because you want me to screw up. Um, but anyway, I'm, with all that being said, I'm really happy with the way these potatoes came out uh, as far as the way I cut them. So I'm going to take them out here, take them out of the oil. All right, get them, shake, 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 shake it off. Put it on the paper towels over here. And I need to probably get another layer of paper towels so I get the oil off of that batch. I'm gonna let the, the temperature of the oil get back up to a good temperature. Uh, try to catch up a little bit on chat. I don't know if, if I should wait and get Five Guys or just Domino's. Oh, get Five Guys. I don't particularly think Five Guys is amazing. Like Five Guys is a pretty good, um, I, I don't know, They're, like the french fries are always soggy to me. Or paper towels. Uh, they're always soggy to me, and, and so like I'm not super crazy about it. Their burgers are always greasy. They don't salt their meat. Or do they? I don't think they salt their burgers, um, which is a big problem to me. Um, so I'm just gonna try to carefully, I'll show you guys the potatoes before I put them in the freezer, before I lock them up and put them in the freezer. 
Uh, I will show you the coloring that we're looking at here. They're, they're just lightly golden and, and soft. They're very soft because the interior is cooked, but we haven't crisped the outside yet. It's very important. Very important. So I just want to make sure that they're nice and dry and our oil is getting up to the temperature that I want it at. So I'm going to grab the second batch of taters. Whoops. And gently drop. Gently drop. There we go. Pray that it doesn't overboil. Because if it does, we'll go BRB screen real fast. <laughs> All right. So it is 12 o'clock. So at like 12.02 or so, I'll be removing those. That should be okay though. Uh, we're dropping, dropping, dropping. So anytime you're gonna fry something also, you want the temperature of the oil to go a little bit higher than your target because when you put the cold food in, it'll drop, it'll drop temp pretty fast. Ooh. So here we go. Exactly, Lucy River. Exactly. Exactly. So I've got a, a bowl here of water and potato starch that I don't really need. So I'll, I'll show you guys. You can actually see the starch. This, this bowl has a ring in the bottom of it. And that whiteness there is all potato starch that is not on our french fries right now, which is awesome. Which is really, really good. So there we go. And let me just make sure that these potatoes are nice and perfectly dry so we don't have an incident. Uh, oh, the oil dropped down to a little bit lower than I wanted it, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. There we go. So I need another paper towel, which is over here. Um, so guys, back here I have this raid board, which you probably have seen while, while you've been here. I haven't really mentioned it. Um, but if we get raided at any point with, with a streamer and they bring over five or more people, I have a raid game that we play. Um, I just implemented it like two weeks ago. So we're calling it the, um, uh, we're calling it the, uh, the wheels of spinach. Basically it's a three round wheel game where in the first round, the, the raider chooses to spin the wheel and, uh, it comes up with an ingredient that I have to use in the stream in some way, shape or form. Um, and then they have the option to move to round two. They have the, uh, the opportunity if they want to move to round two. Uh, and I give them the choice because in round two there is a chance, there's a small chance that you could lose whatever you won from round one. Um, so, uh, so you can do that. And then in round two, it's, uh, it's things slash challenges that I have to do during the stream. So like talk in a certain accent or use my non-dominant hand when I'm doing stuff, stuff like that. This is good. This is ready. I hear you sizzling. Don't worry, French fries. I got you. Uh, and then the third round is, is another round that you can choose to go to. It's kind of, it's kind of not even really optional. You kind of have to, if you win round two, you pretty much have to go to round three because round three is the time that I have to do the thing from round two. <laughs> so for instance, I made uh, I made some vegan tacos the other day on stream. And we got raided by Dream to Stream. So they came and, and we played the game. So I had to speak in an American Southern accent. So I had to talk like this, y'all, for like 30 minutes. And then we also, uh, they won round two and I had to use peanut butter in the stream. Thankfully it was a vegan ingredient. But um, so I, I ended up slathering some peanut butter on my tortillas for the, uh, for the tacos and it was disgusting. Um, but yeah, it's just a fun little thing to encourage people to come, you know, try to get some new people in the, uh, in the stream. It could really shake things up, um, depending on what, what the wheel falls on. Uh, it could be, it could be pretty damaging. I was, I was really worried about doing the vegan stream. I was really, really concerned about, you know, what, what was going to happen in, in round one. So, um, yeah. So, and then, oh yeah, and then while, while we do that, I put your name, I put the Raiders name up here and what I have to do. Uh, so it kind of gives them a little bit of extra recognition, um, which I think is pretty nice. You know, I think, that, you know, it's kind of a mutual thing. I, I, I give you a nice little shout out on my stream there and you could potentially screw up things that I'm cooking. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, you're, you're watching me hoping that something screws up, right? I mean, at least there's, there's at least some portion of it where that is the hope, I'm sure. 
I'm sure of it. It's human nature. You know what I mean? So I've got the potatoes there, and what are we up to? I'm gonna let the oil get a little bit hotter this time. Um, meanwhile, I've just got my, my par cooked potatoes over here. Again, very soft, very limp. I tell you what, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll eat one in front of the camera just to show you that it's disgusting. <laughs> Not what you think of when you think of French fries, that's for sure. So how are we doing here? We're almost up to 320, so let me go ahead and drop in the final round the final countdown of potatoes. And we'll go like this. And this is, might be the largest batch. So let's just carefully not burn down the house. Burning down the house. No, not burning down the house. That would be terrifying. That would be terrifying. Like that Japanese dude that tried to put out fire by putting cardboard on it, that would be me. Like, I don't have any baking soda. Oh God. Man down! Okay, so I'm sorry, obviously, guys, I'm, I'm having to ignore chat for a minute while I'm dealing with scorching hot oil, so please forgive, please forgive. It's 12.06, I'll give it three minutes. And so one of our potatoes here... I just want to watch the person cook casually. All right, that's good. Are right, the burgers done? I haven't really even started the burgers, uh, dummy, because uh, I have to ground the meat. But I wanted to get this done first, the potatoes done, so I can get them in the oven, uh, not the oven, I want to get them in the freezer while I'm grinding the meat and getting the burgers ready. So we're kind of getting there. Oh, thank you, King. Thank you, King. Let me eat this potato. So this is, this is the par-cooked potato. Not exactly what you think of when you think of uh, French fry. Not exactly. I mean, it tastes like potato. There's no salt or anything on there, but it's still... Even that, that thin little piece, that was, a, that was a, a poorly cut potato. Even that thin little piece was, uh, was still a little bit raw on the inside. Let's drink some water. Thanks, guys. I really do appreciate... Well, yeah, Costa, we're going to fry it again. It's going to crisp it up, and then, the, then there'll be regular French fries. So we're not done. We're not done. Perwarish, what's up? Uh, no. Uh... Mega Man! Sir Anouk, Sir Anouk? Uh, I have, I'm, I'm gonna double, I'm double frying them, I'm not gonna triple. I was gonna, I was gonna triple cook, where the first cook was gonna be a boil in, uh, in vinegar water, but I don't have white distilled vinegar. <laughs> so I'm gonna let these go a little bit longer than, than the original time. But no, seriously guys, I really do appreciate you yelling at me to, to drink some water. Um, I, I really do forget to drink, especially while I'm streaming. Hell. Hellby? Hell, hell, Hellbill. Hellbill. <laughs> Are you the type to eat tomatoes and avocados with salt? Uh, no, not really. <sighs> I mean, if I'm going to eat a tomato, yeah, I'm going to put salt on it. Um, but I don't usually just eat like tomatoes out of hand like that. So I'm gonna give these guys another minute or so in the oil, and then we'll be good. We'll be good to move on to the to the to the meat stage, or maybe I should go into the vegetable cutting stage. I don't know. We'll see. So I think towards the end of the stream, I'm just gonna kick the oven into the highest gear I possibly can and see what that pork belly is gonna turn out to be. Uh, just to kind of end the stream on that, because I have no idea. It's been in the oven for about two hours, I guess, if I had to guess. I don't exactly remember when it went in. Also, can somebody hit me with an uptime? Because I'm really bad at the math. Uh, so I'm gonna kill the heat and extract the potatoes. Mega Man! Oh yeah, there we go, and one little straggler in there. Do 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 do. That should be decreasing. That should be decreasing. There we go. 
So I'm gonna get a little bit more paper. I use so many paper towels. Oh my gosh. It's Christ. Two and a half hours. Thank you, DR Dummy. Thank you, Dummy. Dummy, Dummy. <laughs> All right, I gotta say, I'm, I'm doing pretty good at remembering to say the correct name. Although it's still early, it's still early. Give me a week, I'll forget, I'm sure. All right, so let me bring this over. Is this still hot? No, we're good. I know I haven't used the, the sheet tray, but like the oven underneath it is hot. And of course that will that transfers to the, uh, the sheet tray on top. Ow, oil, oil, hot oil is hot. Here we go. So just some, uh, you know, a little, little tray of potatoes, guys. A little tray of potatoes. 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 So I just want to make sure that, you know, they're, they're pretty much as dry of, uh, of oil as we can get here. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So this looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with this. You know, we got some limp. We got some limp potatoes. Limp taters here. Limp taters. Don't make jokes, guys. Don't make jokes about the limp potatoes. They have feelings, too, man. These potatoes are very sensitive. The Raging Nerd. What's up? Welcome. You caught me. I am online. Well, that's the end of the stream, everybody. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so we got dry potatoes. Dry limp potatoes. Oh, yeah. So what I'm going to do... Shaking my booty off screen, you can't see it, haha. <laughs> wow, that's still going up. That's fine. All right. So I'm going to grab a glove just cause it'll be fine. Caustic, thank you so much for being here, my man. Thanks for dropping that host earlier. And just thanks for hanging out. And just thanks for being you, man. You know I appreciate you. So I'm trying to get these all into like a nice little bundle. I'm breaking them. Like they're they're so tender and soft. I'm breaking them. It's fine, they'll cook up all nice. Dry limp potatoes. Oh yeah, my favorite. Except not. Oh, good, Kate's still here, sweet. Good, 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 sorta. That's fine, do, do your thing. But do, 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 do. We're having a pretty chill chat experience right now. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Have I ever made cheesecake? Yes. That was, that was part of that uh, six week baking class I had to take. It's like the most fattening cheesecake ever. It was like a, it was made with heavy cream and stuff. It was crazy and we, we Topped it with heavy cream. It was just ridiculous. Major headache. Oh no, Kate. I'm sorry to hear that, Kate. I'm very sorry to hear that. These are American fries. This is America, yeah. America fries. These are freedom fries, man. Freedom. Freedom for America. I kid, but seriously. That whole freedom fries thing was ridiculous. We can't call them French fries because this is America. They stand for freedom. Whatever, man. They're potatoes, man. Potatoes are love. Potatoes are love. I'm enjoying this, even though I should be drawing Chef of Hard Knocks, right? Um, yeah, funny story. Well, it's funny to me anyway. It's funny to me anyway. Um, hold on, I'm gonna put this, so I have a bag of potatoes. A bag of potatoes, I'm gonna wrap it up. Wrap it up. And I'm gonna toss it in the freezer. The colder these are, when they go into the fryer, the better they're gonna be, trust me. That's why, that's why we, so got them really dry so they don't have ice crystals. I still have to be really careful about that, but uh, they should freeze very nicely and be good to go. Anyway, 
Uh, Mrs. Lethal told me the other day, for my last stream, I was, you know, I was cooking and doing my own thing. I'm being goofy and whatnot. And she's like, you know, I should be doing things, but I'm watching your stream and <laughs> you're very entertaining. <laughs> now, I'm not saying this to inflate my ego, though it is working. Um, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I was like, oh, thanks, boo. She's like, yes, yes, I should be, I should be cleaning or I should be doing laundry, but instead she's on the couch, like watching me with headphones. I'm like, oh, cool. I did that on purpose just now. Don't worry. I'm not, I'm not a complete psychopath, just a partial psychopath. But I needed to get the core loosened of the tomato, or the tomato, the tomato guys. No, the lettuce. Lettuce, eat lettuce. I, did I? Yes, I did. I'm smart. Don't worry about me, guys. I got my, uh, my, 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 uh, my bag for the, for the lettuce. hey Smash the lettuce. Smash the lettuce. Drop the lettuce. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of these these outer layers here. Rabbit food. All right, but I smashed it so I could kind of easily just rip rip its heart out. Get over here, man! I'm getting brutal on this lettuce. So I'm just gonna. <clears throat> so we have some happy little lettuce here. And um, I'm just going to gently peel, you know, pieces apart. And if you have some that are a little bit not pretty, it, it, we can make it look pretty. Just by applying a little bit of additional pressure and moving things around, you will have beautiful lettuce. Because at its, at its heart, lettuce just wants to be beautiful. Let us have some, some happy little... Um, body. Let us have some, some happy little iceberg lettuce here. It is nothing fancy. This is a traditional happy lettuce that we put on our burgers in North America. Again, it is not fancy. It is just a nice, safe, neutral lettuce that offers a lot of crunch and not a lot of flavor. Because when all is said and done and we have a happy sandwich, I don't want to taste the lettuce. I want to taste the burger, the meat. The meat of it, so that's enough. All right. When did this turn into cooking with Bob Ross? About 45 seconds ago. <laughs> Pork chop, one, two, five. Hit that follow button. Thank you so much, and welcome to the stream. Hopefully, you're having a pretty dang good day. Welcome to the kitchen as well. Um, really means a lot that you decided to hit that follow button. It means a lot to my little heart. My achy, breaky heart. And Blue Dudin, Blue Dudin, with the follow as well. The du -du 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 double follow. Appreciate you guys very much. Welcome, welcome. And again, I'll say it again. Hopefully, you're having an awesome day, an awesome week, an awesome month. I'm going to put the, uh, the lettuce here with the cucumber. Will this fit? We'll make it fit. Get in there. There, I'll just, it doesn't have, it just, get there. Get the mother, dang it. There, we're, we're, we're good, it's fine. That fits, right, that fits. It'll be fine. Like the choice in Blue shirt and pants. Well, thank you. Uh, I always wear gym shorts on stream because it gets really hot in here. So I have to, I have to wear the shorts. And most of my, sh actually most of my clothes are blue. Like if you look at my, my entire wardrobe, most of it's blue. Hey, Ray0158 started following me on Instagram. If you're still out there, Ray0158, thank you very much for that. Appreciate it. Guys, if you don't, follow me on Instagram, I recommend it, not only because I'm narcissistic and I wish for you to follow me on, on Instagram, that's where I post all my, my food pictures. So like at the end of the stream, I'll take a glamour shot and I'll post it to Instagram 
if you're interested in that sort of thing. Also, I take pictures of my animals and my foster animals and post them on the site as well, just to kind of, you know, keep things fun and interesting. So I've got some, some pretty nice, very ripe tomatoes here that I got from Le Grosserie. Um, and I mean, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about using the tomatoes. Normally I don't like using tomatoes because the season for tomatoes is pretty dang short. What's my Instagram? If there is a moderator available, can we get an exclamation point social? That'll give you all the links where you can stalk me. I mean, it's, it's Chef Lethal Plays, but we can get a link thrown in the chat. Um, also, I have the YouTube. I post my VODs to YouTube. I'm a little behind on them. I haven't made them public quite yet. Uh, but I post the VODs to YouTube in case you missed anything or you missed a stream and you wanted to catch up. Um, I'm on Twitter. I recommend following me on Twitter. Uh, thank you, Kate Nippers. Thank you very much for that. Uh, let me grab a, a fancy paper plate here because I'm going to cut up some tomato while we're here. So let's see. Oh, good. My, my knife is sharp. I'm trying to deal with tomatoes with a dull knife is treacherous. <laughs> but I do like a, a nice thin slice of tomato. So let me see if I can... Please, please knife. Please be nice. There we go. Oh, that's, that's, that's okay. That's, that's not terrible. Not bad. Slice and dice. Uh, <laughs> Mostly just slice. I don't really want to do the dice, but I don't want a thick, I don't want a thick, uh, like slab of tomato. Come on. That was a bad one. That's a bad one. That's the bad one. Really? You're embarrassing me, tomato. It's like, it's, it's almost too ripe. It's really squishy. And I don't want to press down too hard to get my knife through it. There we go. Let's see. Let me get my micrometer out. Make sure that it looks so even and nice. I hate these burger places that put like this slab of tomato on your burger. I'm like, excuse me. I ordered a beef burger with some lettuce and tomato on it. I did not order a tomato burger with a slab of beef on it. I mean, come on. I did a really terrible job of cutting that up, by the way. This one I feel a little bit better about. It's a little bit, it's a, bit, a little bit less squishy. King, that's not a terrible idea, but... Um... I don't think I would need it every stream. And me just asking you guys to remind me is really just a, a courtesy. You definitely don't have to. Um, I just need to. I just need to drink a little bit more water. It's no big deal. I was trying to get a, a meow counter on the stream, and I couldn't quite figure out how to get it to work because I, I do the I do the meow joke every once in a while. I would do it right meow, but it would be not, it wouldn't be worth it. It wouldn't be funny. And then this will probably be the last, the last little bit I can get. Come on, please. There we go. Yeah, not perfect, not great, but uh, it'll do, it'll do, it'll do like this. I did a terrible job. Look how thick that is. Well, you can't really see, but it was thick. It was thick. It was a thick soul sister. I want to get with you. I won't cuss or hit you. I will eat this though. That I will do. I'm gonna grab some salt. You can create a command, Kate. I bet you can. Give it a shot. Try creating a command, Kate. Have you tried? I think you should be able to. A little bit too much salt. Bars for days. What? Hmm. Okay, see? You go saying that you're not allowed, but you don't know how to. So maybe you can, but you don't know. Blue dude, and yeah, my wife is like that. She, um, she doesn't, so like, she'll, she likes tomato sauce on her burger, on her, um, on her pasta. What did I just drop? Oh, I just spilled a bunch of tomato juice. Um, 
So she doesn't like uh, tomatoes, but she likes, you know, tomato sauce on pizza, ketchup especially. Um, but yeah, she's very big on consistency. So if something has a squishy consistency, she's not big on it. And I can get that. I can get, I can get behind that. Like onions, she's, she's not fully on board with onions. All right, so there we go. I'm just rinsing off my board and knife. There we go. I'll let that sit there for a minute. I don't know how much, I'm gonna need it a little bit. I can set the chat in slow-mo, that's all I know. Nice. Anyways, get that water. All right, thanks, King. So if you guys see right there on my board, or on my, on my, on my thing here, what is this, my countertop, I've got this. This is a, a, a shelf liner that you're supposed to use in your cabinets to use, so you can keep dishes from sliding around or clanging around. But if you use this underneath your uh, cutting board, it prevents it from moving around. I wanna be a... America! Okay. <laughs> Sorry, dance break. There we go. Um, but yeah, it keeps your board from slips and sliding around. So it keeps the safety up. Safety good when dealing with sharpened knife-sicles. Mm. <sighs> Royce Cooks, welcome to the stream. Thank you for that follow. Hopefully you're having a good day. Kind of sounds like you might be a cook. So now I'm nervous. We got somebody with experience here. I'm scared, guys. I'm nervous. Let me check the pork belly real quick. It's it's cooking. I mean, it's just cooking. It's nothing to look at. Otherwise, I would show you guys. But it's just cooking really slow. It's not on the menu, but I just wanted to make it because I have it. It's been in my freezer for a while. So I think it's about time we move on to do something else. So let me get this out of here. My trash bag is already full. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Throw that in there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, let me grab another plastic bag of Rooney. I gotta say, guys, this this trick of this trick of having a, a plastic bag nearby when I'm when I'm chopping and stuff. It's kind of an idea that I stole from Rachel Ray. I hate to say it, like she has her GB, her garbage bowl. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, give it a shot. Uh, no. <laughs> I give up. It's okay, Kate. It might be something on my end. It might be settings on my end. It's no big deal. Like, we'll, we'll figure it out. It's all right. Camma. Came. Camma? Camma. Camma. Came. Oh, it's for Nightbot. Came. Salt. Salt Tamer! <laughs> Salt Tamer, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the kitchen. Hopefully, you're having a good day. <gasps> Hopefully you've had a good Saturday. I'm going to put the tomatoes in the in the refrigerator. Despite what you may or may not have heard or read on the interwebs, uh, putting tomatoes in the refrigerator does not harm them. Um, there's a lot of uh, pseudoscience out there saying, don't do it because you'll ruin your your tomatoes. It ruin no, it doesn't ruin anything. It's fine. I have not personally done the research, but I have read the articles of people much smarter than me that have a lot more time and get paid to do this sort of thing. Uh, they did the research <laughs> and I trust them in doing that. So don't worry about it, guys. Just put your, put your tomatoes in the oven. Not in the oven. God, chef, why are you saying that? Put them in the fridge. In the fridge. <laughs> Caustic. Failure is the best entertainment when nobody dies. Yes. Good point. When nobody dies and or gets seriously injured. Um... I want to get down on some meat. Wait, what? Uh, I want to start chopping up the meat that I have here. So I've got about a pound and a half to two pounds of pork belly and about the equal amount of, uh, of sirloin. And I'm going to get this cut up so that it will go into the grinder. We'll do that a little bit later. I need to find a bowl. Like seriously, chef. What's, what's, what, what the deal, yo? What the deal? I need a big enough container. Uh, 
This'll do, I guess. I'm so prepared. Look how prepared I am. I saw a follow come in. Shroot 132 and Antidote 1337. Hello, hello, and welcome to the kitchen. Hopefully you are having both amazing days. Um, Sim you know, together or separate, depending on, you know, where you are. I mean, you could be together. I don't know. You could be separate. You're probably, the odds are that you're separate. You're not near each other. You've probably never even heard of each other, but just in case you've heard of each other, hopefully you are both doing well. What am I even talking about? Drive Ryan's steak. Nice. <laughs> I am starving. I hear you, Wombat Combat. We're working on it, man. I got some pickles already done. Uh, I'm going to be cutting up the meat now for uh, for the, the burgers, the actual meat portion of the, you know, what I mean. Chelsea B has followed. Chelsea B, thank you so much for hitting that follow button. Really does mean a lot to me. I know it's like a really simple thing for you to do, but the fact that you did it is like, whoa. You didn't have to do that. It makes me happy. It makes me really, really happy. He's your brother from another mother. Oh, snap. Oh, and the beer is cold, Wombat. Wombat, I'm totes jelly, man. I ain't got no, I ain't got no bear, man. I ain't got no bear. I'm gonna start with the pork belly, which has been dutifully vacuum sealed by myself. Now again, guys, I've got that um, the the the, the tray liner down here so that my board won't go slip sliding around because that would be dangerous. Like that. That would also be dangerous if my hand was in the way there. So I'm gonna open this up. Ramble on. Chilling at work. Shroot. Do you by chance, are you by chance a fan of The Office? Because that's a great show. <laughs> the American Office. I tried watching the British version of The Office. Hate me if you want, guys. I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. Ramble. It's very lovely. We finished keep our beer cold and our girls hot. <laughs> nice. Real nice. Really nice. All right. So now that this bag is empty of all porky goodness, remember what I said earlier about, well, if you were here earlier, I mentioned how, um, how did you know? It's Dwight. It's Dwight. Oh my God. <laughs> um, pork belly is pretty much the only meat in America that I can get that has its skin still on it. Unfortunately, I don't want the skin for the burgers. Um, so I'm gonna take the skin off. I'm going, lights, please. My, my kitchen's haunted, everybody, don't worry. Um, holy geez. Um, so I'm gonna take the skin off. I'm going to take the skin off. That sounds really creepy. But I, I make chicharron, guys. I'm not gonna do that today because then we would be extending the stream quite a bit longer than, than, than would be healthy for me. But yeah, guys, uh, I use this pig skin, the, the pork skin, to make chitaron, like crispy pork rinds, if you, uh, if you didn't know. And uh, I make a pretty mean version of it, and mean being, you know, a colloquialism for being good, of course. His belly is, is being very difficult, so bear with me here. As I just try to... I want to keep it in one piece. Bam, bam. Chitaron. I'm gonna take the skin off. Oh yeah. Chelsea B, yes, I agree. Brr, brr, brr. Boop, boop. <laughs> you see, <laughs> okay, for real. Glowgasm, what's up? Yes, you will be able to find hamburgers here very soon. Like right now I'm cutting up the pork belly that we're gonna grind that will be half of the substance of the burger. Uh, but right now I'm taking off the skin, so in a future date I can make some chicharron. Chicharron. And while I'm here, I'll go ahead and uh, cut up the pork piece uh, so it'll fit in the grinder. There we go. Very good. Who was it? Somebody, somebody said a thing. Somebody said a thing. Who was that? Dommy. Dommy, what you just said there really, really makes me feel good, my man. Um, and I'm not just saying that. Like, again... For anyone that's out there that's new, that doesn't know, like I'm very, I try to be as genuine as possible. Like I'm not gonna say things that I don't mean uh, either on stream and, and in real life too. But um, you know, if I, if, if I screw up on stream, I'll tell you guys. If I don't screw up and I'm really happy with something, I'll tell you that too. 
Um, oh God, Swamp Thing. We're gonna have a dance break here soon because this is my jam. This is my mother effing jam. Um, but anyway, what you said there, like that just makes me feel so good because it's like, it just means that me as a, as a streamer, I'm, I'm being entertaining. At least you are finding me entertaining. And uh, for that, I just thank you for saying that. Cause that, that really does, that goes so long for me. It's such a confidence booster to see that. It makes me want to try harder just to make sure I'm putting out a quality product. Somebody said a thing. Oh, Pims must be here. Wombat Combat, thank you for that follow. I don't even know if it's popped up on stream yet, but I see it. We're gonna pump it up here shortly. If you guys have your rare parrots ready, we can, we can rare parrot it up. Cause this right here might be my jam. Come on, pork skin. Come on. Gotta be careful too, the pork skin is tough. Kodo underscore 12, hit that follow button. And I thank you so much for it. Welcome to the kitchen. Hopefully you're having an awesome Saturday so far. <laughs> the grill is warm. Uh, am I gonna eat the pork belly skin with some fava beans and some nice Chianti? <laughs> Sorry, that probably grossed all of you out. No iTunes, please. iTunes, please. All right, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do good, do goodly on the, uh, the pork belly here, it's not working. Please, pork belly, don't do this to me. Dancing with sharp knives. I'm responsible. I'm a responsible adult. I can dance with sharp knives. <laughs> Famous last words. Watch me dance with this knife. Here, hold my beer. <laughs> I'm gonna try to muscle this. No muscle, not working. Must cut. Pump it up. Rock, 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 rock. Pump it up. Pump it up. Fun fact, Mrs. Lethal does not like this song and she has tried to get me to remove it from my intro and I can't because this song is too hype. The song is too hype. We're rock, we're rock. Pump it. Woo! <laughs> Dances with not, <laughs> Dancing with Sharp Knives is Native American name. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Anthony, you fit right in here, man. You fit right in. <laughs> nice. So, <laughs> funny, kind of funny story. I live really close to the president of Le Cordon Bleu that I went to. And I've seen him a few times. I've seen him twice at the, at the grocery store. The second time was like three weeks ago. And I was, I, was too, I was too scared. Honestly, guys, I was too scared to go and talk to him and tell him what I'm using my expensive education for. <laughs> the first time I saw him in there was uh, before I started or as I was just beginning or something like that. Ooh, I just poked myself. Um, and I was like, yo, live on Twitch, yes. Um, oh, this is already good. Um, so the first time I saw him, I, I said hi. This goes over there. I said hi to him, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm enrolled in the school. And, you know, he was very nice. He was very nice to me. And he was like, oh, by the way, I have a twin brother. So if you come over and say hi to me, it might not be me. And if it's an asshole, then it's probably my brother. And I was like, oh, okay. So I did not say hi to him because... You may find this hard to believe. I'm dancing and acting a fool here on stream, but in real life, I am socially awkward. Socially awkward and uh, kind of shy. <laughs> like, I, at a party, at a gathering, I'll just kind of sit in the corner, even though it might not be the coolest thing. Like, we had, oh, we had a, we had a gathering. There's a, there's a Twitch group in town. We had a gathering. It sounds cultish, but we had a gathering at a bar. And there was a lot of people there. And I was like, wow, this is a great networking opportunity. I met a few people, but most of the time, I was just kind of chilling in the back. I was like, oh, look, I'm gonna play this video game. 
ブルブブブブルルルブブブルブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブブ What was I saying? Oh, my, my, my grocery store never has pork belly. Like, they never, they never really sell it. So, when they do, I just make it a point to buy it. Whether I have a plan to use it or not, I'm like, I have to buy it and I'll freeze it. So,、um, I bought some for an event and I used it. And then I had this other slab in the freezer. I was like, oh, today's a good time to use it. We're celebrating America. Can I just go like this? Here we go. This is safe. Cut away from the body when you do this. There we go. Oh man, I'm getting lots of really good skin though. I, my co workers at one of my old jobs used to commission me to go buy pork, pork,、uh, you know, pork belly, so I could bring in chicharrones. One time I made,、um, I made, I made chicharrones. I, I, I tossed them with、uh, Old Bay seasoning. If you are in America, you probably are very familiar with Old Bay seasoning.、Uh, if you're not, I don't really know how to describe it. It's a Cajun y type seasoning, I guess. Um, but I tossed, the, I tossed the chicharron with,、uh, with Old Bay and then I made a crab dip for the. Oh my god, it was, it was ridiculous. Oh, it was so stupid. In a good way. It was stupid in a good way. That makes sense, right? That's a thing. That's a thing people say these days. Kids these days say all sorts of crazy things, guys. Night Mystic, thank you for that follow. And welcome. Need to find a local meat market and get cool with the butchers. Okay, Anthony, I have, I have kind of a funny story for that. Apparently, all my stories are funny. I am hilarious.、Um, so, we do kind of have a, a meat market nearby. And one time I went there, specifically one time I went there. Let me get a bag for this really quick. So, one time I went there and、uh, I bought this, this really nice, really nice ribeye.、Um, Like a double bone, really thick ribeye roast.、Uh, it, was, it, was, it, was, it looked really beautiful, right? So I told the guy, I was like, okay, that's all I really want. And then he tries to tell me how to cook it at the, at the counter. Now, granted, I, I acted like a complete fool with this guy. So I fully admit my follies here. But、uh, he starts to try to tell me how to cook it. I'm like, oh no, homie, you don't even know who you're dealing with right now. But he was like, oh yeah, you gotta make sure that you, you cook it in the oven really hot and fast for you know, 20 minutes to get a nice sear. And,、uh, and then you, you cook it low and slow to finish it. That'll, that'll、uh, what do you say? That'll lock in the juices. And I'm like, in my head, I was like, you, sir, are an idiot because that is not how science works.、Um, but what came out was instead,、um, Something, something along the lines of, actually, that's, that's not the best way to, to, to do it, man. Trust me. And he was like, no, 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 you trust me. And so I bought it from him. I, I just I, I shut down because I wasn't really in the mood to argue and tell him that I actually knew the science behind it.、Um, I just, I just kind of walked away and vented to Mrs. Lethal. I was like, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. He's trying to tell me how to cook it. And she's like, well, well what did you tell him? And I told him to trust me because I know what I'm talking about. And she was like, Yeah, you didn't win that argument. You just kind of sound dumb. <laughs> Not in her exact words, but basically the gist of, of what she said. And looking back, I was like, Yeah, I didn't really handle that interaction very well. But he was so wrong. <laughs> Glowgasm, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully, you're having a good day. Really appreciate you hitting that follow button. It means a lot to me. So now I'm just cutting up the beef. Uh, the beef portion of our burgers. And now, my, while we're listening to Pearl Jam, I love this song, guys. 
Uh, I get chills on this, listen to this song every time. Even the recorded version, like when he starts doing the doo 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 doos, the doo 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 doos, when he starts doing the sandstorm version, uh, I get chills every time, man. Wow. Wow, shots fired there, Sonny. I'm, I'm guessing you, you know Night Mystic. Otherwise, that could be really awkward. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I handled that. I, I handled that interaction very poorly. Um, I probably I, I could have done that a lot better. But hey, socially awkward for the win. Um, next time I'll know better. So I'm just cutting up the beef here in strips so it'll fit nicely into my meat grinder. Oops. Hurts <laughs> because it's true. Oh snap. Oh, I won't sing. I won't sing. It's gonna be hard for me, but I won't sing. I won't sing because I, I need you guys to stay. I need you guys to stay. Please stay. Please don't leave me. You guys keep me company. It's also preventing me, like me streaming is preventing me from having to clean today. <laughs> so don't leave me. Don't leave me. Let me skate my responsibilities with you. Jason. Are you saying searing a roast doesn't help? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Song request based tip jar. <laughs> no, Cold Stone Creamery. Okay, Jason. Knight was the other guy. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. So I'm gonna educate you guys right now, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish cutting this. I'm gonna ignore chat for a minute because I have to get through this point. And I'm gonna turn Eddie Vedder down because we're gonna we're gonna get real because this is a pa this is like a trigger for me, okay? Chef getting triggered. Hashtag Chef triggered. Here we go. You guys ready for this? Let me put this away. Here's how this works, okay? A piece of meat is not a balloon, okay? So when you sear the meat, it's not like you're creating an impenetrable uh, crust that nothing can get in and nothing can get out. It doesn't work like that, okay? What ends up happening? is you're just creating flavor. The crust is just flavor caused by high heat, mixing up with the proteins, doing fancy things as science name, you know, my art reaction, all this crap, right? But there's, it doesn't actually do anything for the juices. So the best way to cook a large piece of meat, and this is like, this is how I cook all of my large pieces. If I'm not gonna do it in the sous vide, I cook it low and slow. Like if I have a four bone or a three bone, or even it's a two bone like ribeye, you know, roast thing, I'm gonna season it up real nice. I'm gonna throw it in the oven at like 250 or 300 until it's basically done. And I'm gonna take it out and then sear it. The most important thing when searing is that the, ex the exterior of the meat is dry. Okay, that's, that's the most important thing because then you're gonna get a better sear. But it's not like, oh, I seared this, now I can poke it and the juices, no, it, it just doesn't work like that. And there's, there's people out there that that don't get into like, I don't blame people like mass media. Like this is a rumor that started like back in the fifties. They sear your meat and seal in the juices. It, it, it's not like that. Who's that follow? <laughs> Sac, Sacrifanazi? I don't know how to say your name, but thank you for that follow. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the, welcome to the chef rant. Uh, we'll get back to cooking in a moment. Uh, I'm just triggered uh, trying to, to, to do some education because that is a, that is a rumor in the world that I really feel like needs to go away. Um, also when you sear first, you're creating an, like a, 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 ah, <laughs> I can't even form the words. Oh my God. Um, you're creating an, Im uh, uh, uneven, uneven cooking, uh, gradient, right? So if you have a nice piece of meat, let's say, let's say I have a roast that's a, this big, right? Like that, okay, so I'd say that's probably three or four inches you know, thick, right? If you sear it first, what ends up happening is the outside gets really, really, really hot because you're searing it. But the heat doesn't just stay on the outside. The heat starts seeping in, right? So let's say I get this nice piece of meat, I sear it hard on the stove, and then I throw it in the oven to finish it off. So what ends up happening is the exterior of the meat, I'll just use like a, a, a simple up down or yeah, up down kind of illustration here. So <laughs> hold on. Hashtag triggered everybody. So if you have a piece of meat like this, this is, a, this is a piece of meat, pretend. So when you sear it and you've got heat coming in like this, 
right? Can you even see that? Here we go. You've got heat coming in like this. What ends up happening is here you have a crust, okay? But here you're still cooking, right? You still have a lot of heat coming in to just below the crust. So then you throw the, the piece of meat in the oven and you want to hit it at medium rare. Let's say you want, to, you, want to, you want a nice 125 degrees Fahrenheit right in the middle, okay? So we're, we're aiming for 125, let's just say. So you roast it nice and slow. And let's say you have the middle here, it's gonna hit 125. The meat's still cooking and you already had a ton of heat hitting it from here. So what you end up having, having is, you know, maybe you have a really nice crust on the outside, but then you have a layer here that's like, you know, well done. And then you've got like a layer here that's like medium well, and a layer here that's like medium, and then you have your medium rare section. But if you cook it slow, if you cook it slow first, sorry guys, I, I, I don't usually get triggered like this on stream or ever really. I don't, I don't really get triggered that often. So let's say you cook it nice and slow first. War Dog Gaming, thank you for that follow, really appreciate it. So let's say we take that same piece of meat, pretend again this is a piece of meat, although it's a little bit different shaped, and we cook it slow for a few hours. Now granted, obviously it's gonna take a little bit longer. So we cook it slow for a few hours. So we have only a little bit of heat coming in. So I'm gonna do faint lines here. We have a little bit of heat coming in. So what this ends up doing is it's just enough to like get the moisture off the surface but you end up having, you know, maybe you still have those gradients here, right? So you've got like a line here, a line here, and a line here, where it's like, you'll, have, you'll end up having crust on the outside, because then you're gonna sear it. You'll have crust on the outside, and then you'll have, you know, a little, little bit of well, a little bit of medium, a little bit of it, and then you'll have here at 125 degrees Fahrenheit. And this, tastes a lot better. You get more of what you want and less gray meat, basically, is what that turns out to. So, sorry to take this detour. Where did I put the cap? Sorry to take this detour. I had to, I had to, I had to. Um, so there, I don't, like I said, I don't normally get triggered like that. I don't usually stop the stream to have a straight up, you know, lesson, but um, that is, that's like my, one of my biggest pet peeves here. Plus, I don't think we're gonna get rated. I could probably leave that on, on the board here. We're not gonna get rated. <laughs> Famous last words. Um, so let me put this back. Woo, man, triggered. But thank you all for, for dealing with me on that. Let's get the music back. Let me drink some water. Let's get music first, priority. There we go. Jason, and, and I appreciate the question. I appreciate the statement. I don't want, I don't, okay. So what I really don't want is for you to feel like I'm attacking you or thinking that you're dumb or anything like that, right? It's just, you said a thing that set off a trigger, okay? So you're totally right because it's all out in the media. It's on the internet. All the Food Network shows say this stuff, but it's not true. It's not true, okay? So like, I'm very passionate about this and I'm like all worked up about it. I need to, I need to like slow down, um, but you're fine, right? So don't apologize. You're totally cool, man. Um, Pirate1012, thank you for that follow as well. Um, really appreciate that, uh, especially during my rant. Um, and who's that? Vio Violin Geek 20 welcome to the kitchen as well. Thank you for that follow. Appreciate it. All right, good, awesome. So it looks like we're good. Everybody's good. We're good, everybody's happy, I'm happy. I feel good about that teaching you guys some stuff. Violin geek, I like that. I like that. I'm assuming you play violin or you know somebody that plays violin or a geek that plays violin. I can dig it. I can dig it. I just splashed water all over me. So now I have a tray of meat. Uh, if you missed the, the, the pre-rant, I have a container here that's approximately 50-50 uh, beef sirloin and pork belly. I'm gonna stick this in the freezer because we're about to grind it. We're gonna get our grind on. Um, not just moves for the club, apparently. We're gonna grind, uh, we're gonna grind it. Looking at the fries, the fries, they're not frozen, they're cold. Um, I'll give you guys a little bit of recap. 
for, uh, for what you've missed if you're just joining us. So I have some pickles in the refrigerator that we did right at the beginning of the stream. Um, some really quick pickles with rice wine vinegar, sugar, water. Um, so they're, they're looking pretty good in there. Uh, I've par cooked some French fries in a pot of oil here. They're in the freezer right now getting nice and cold so we can finish them off when we're ready to eat. Um, I just cut up the, uh, the meat for the actual burgers because we're doing a half and half pork belly and beef. Learning to be a geek. Nice. Nice one, Violin Geek. I am, I am musically inclined as well. Um, I, I have been playing for almost 30 years. Nice! I can't say that I've been playing or had played my instrument for, uh, for that long, but that's a dang long time, man. I gotta say, violin's hard too. I'm, when I was hardcore into music, like watching a violinist, a good violinist play was always really fascinating to me. Mm. All right, I've also got some pork skin from the pork belly that I, that I chopped up. And I'm gonna put this in the freezer. This will be for a future stream. I'll make chicharrones. Uh, that should be pretty cool. And then I've got, oh, I've got a slab of pork belly in the, in the oven here, just cooking. It's just cooking. I just salted it and uh, it's looking okay. I've also got some bacon over here that I kind of may have possibly forgotten about. Um, it's fine, it's fine. No, Tyson, I also have a cute kitten back in the kitchen. I think he likes it because it's really warm in here. Jason has followed. Thank you, my man. Appreciate it. Betty's Kitchen. I'll have to check it out, dummy. I don't ever get to go to famous restaurants, so uh, <laughs> it would be a really boring, boring experience. Like, and this is a local restaurant that probably none of you have ever been to or heard of. Um, yeah, like I, I only have like 120, I think YouTube subscribers. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't get me very far. What was I just thinking I had to do? Hold on. I've got the meat in the freezer. I've got the potatoes. Did I need something to do with the knife? Do, 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 do. Not a fan of cooking. Let me change your mind. <laughs> All right, so I totally, totally just blanked on what I'm supposed to be doing. Let me put the knife down. I see bad things happening. <laughs> I'm just wielding a knife around all willy-nilly like. Um, I've got tomatoes. I've got the pickles. Do 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 do. Man, brain, please. Do, 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 do. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Night Mystic. Oh, you know what? I remember. I have to. Uh, I have to. I have to mess around with the blue cheese now. Right. So I gotta get. I make make sure everything is is ready to go um, before um, before we start putting everything together. Uh, the French have a name for that. The French have a name for everything, but having everything like lined up and ready to go, the French call that mise en place. And I think if roughly translated, it means snobby fool or something like that. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it means something like, uh, oh God, Tyson. I just, kicked the, I just kicked him in the head. I might cry. Tyson, please. Tyson, don't be mad at me. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. He does this thing where I'm walking and he just walks, runs right in front of my toe and I kick him. Kick him. No French chocolate. Okay, sorry, my freedom fries in the, uh, in the, uh, in the freezer. Move your bottle closer to your central area. Like, like this? That's weird. Hold on a second, guys. We're fine, right? Yeah, we're fine, okay. Sorry, my, my camera up there, I think it's just telling me I don't have a memory card in there, and that's why it's giving me a red light, that's fine. It means something like, oh God, Tyson. <laughs> nice, all right. 
So I got some uh, some bleh, some bleaches. One, two, three. Wow! So nice, some nice imported bleaches, product of Denmark. Product of Denmark. So what I like to do with this is separate the 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 cheese that's gonna go in the burgers from the rest of it that's not gonna go in the burgers so we don't cross contaminate because that's disgusting. Come on. Glove, please. Glove. All right, and also, I'm tired of dirtying up dishes. Let me grab a plastic knife. Woo. Plastic knife to the rescue. I mean, this is like nothing super fancy. Blue chaise, you're absolutely right. Blue chaise, you guys like what I say, blue chaise. Let's dump out the chaise. If you had a house of cheese, would that be chez chaise? Or I don't know, it'd be, I know it'd be fromage. Like Maison du Fromage. I know a little bit of France. I know a little bit of France. So, nice little wedge of, of Danish bleu. I like saying it like that, bleu. <laughs> it's like really the lazy way to say, bleu. What kind of cheese you got there? Oh, I just got some bleu. Are you okay? No, I'm fine. Oh, pirate. Got to ask permission to post a link, my friend. Every cheese needs to be spray cheese. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do is kind of cut through here. Arr, there, I'm gonna leave off the tip. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take the tip, but then put it back in the container. I'm gonna put the tip where it belongs. There we go. So tip back in the container. Je suis bête. I don't know what that means. Oh, <laughs> did the bot do something dumb? She gets jealous if people talk. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so I'm gonna, okay, so this is not gonna, this is just gonna crumble. That's fine. Crumbling is okay, I guess. I'll put this off to the side on this plate. Sometimes I get a type of cheese that is more sliceable but this is just crumbling all over the place. So that's fine. The good thing about the blue cheese is you don't need a ton of it in the burger uh, because it's funky. It's funky comadina. Nacho cheese. Oh man, we got cheese. I failed to translate. Oh. <laughs> that's cool. It's cool, guys. There we go. So this got a little bit of slice, but it's gonna it's gonna end up crumbling, I'm sure. Um, and maybe just a little bit more here. Ooh. Put this off to the side, and that should be pretty good. That, I think that's a pretty decent amount amount of ches. And if it's not, then uh, I'll use some American cheese product, and we'll be just in good shape. So I've got a little bit of cheese here. And again, this is just separated from the rest of it so that I can touch it with a meaty hand and uh, not have to worry about contaminating the whole batch of la chaise. Also, I need to wash off my knife because it's got pork juice on there. Am I even gonna need my knife for the rest of the stream? I may not need my knife for the rest of the stream, but just in case, just in case, it'd be nice to have a clean knife. A clean knife is a happy knife. So sorry for the loud noises, everybody. I'm just getting my knife ready. Also, I need to make sure my work laptop does not lock on me. There we go. I know like my sink sound is pretty loud. So here, I'll turn that off while I'm scrubbing. While I'm scrubbing, just look at my uh, at my board. That's, that's interesting to look at, right? <laughs> there we go. Oh, ah. There we go. Nice clean knife. Clean knife. There we go. Robot sounds. Ooh, 
three and a half hours. I gotta get going. I gotta get going. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Woo! Gotta get moving, man. This is the thing, man. I start to I start to get in a groove, and I'm just like, whoa! Let me just wield my knife willy nilly. Also, I'm gonna put my vegetables back in the fridge. Was it away? <laughs> Woo. I thought it was warm, but I didn't want to say anything. It could have just been me. Just talking to my wife, everybody. No big deal. NBD, NBD. So I got the I got the cheese ready. I'm gonna put the rest of the cheese in the fridge as well. I'll wrap it up in uh, in plastic uh, after the stream. But right now I gotta get moving. Gotta get moving. That's not a knife. <laughs> Let me show you a knife. I may be done with the uh, the cutting board altogether, actually. So I'm gonna put the cheese in the fridge too, just for... No, I'm gonna be using the cheese real soon. So I don't need to do that. I do need to get my grinding action going. I gotta get grinding. All right, KitchenAid. It's just you and me, bud. Let's go. Nailed it. All right. So we're gonna do some meat grinding. Do some of that. And let me move this and do a pushback. Do 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 do. All right, I think that'll work. So now I need a bowl. A bole, bole, bole. Bole, bole, bole. Bowl. A bowl. A bowl. I promise I'm fine, everybody. I promise I'm fine. No barking. No touching. Okie dokie. So I've got my grinding attachment here. Nice and clean. <laughs> yes, I just did smell that. And grab my meat. All right. It's time to get grinding, everybody. So, first things first, we got that in there. We put the, what is that? There we go. I keep all my components of my grinder in the freezer because we need the meat to get ground as cold as possible. So we need to get moving here. The more heat that we introduce to the situation, the worse. And I'd really like it if this worked. There we go. Get in there. There we go. Nice. And we'll get our screw on. What? I don't know. Diego, what's up, Diego? Oh, Gooder Raid. Oh my God. Holy crap, Gooderness with the host. Gooder Raid. Oh my God. <gasps> Gooderness. Gooderness, you just raided us. Is that four or five, guys? Gooderness, what's up, man? Hold on. Shellback. Oh my God. Dead Eye Gnome. What's up? Welcome. Oh my God. Gooderness. We've been raided by Gooderness, everybody. Hold on. I got to put my grinder back in the freezer because it's time to play the raid game. It's time to spin the wheels of spinach. Gooderness, I hope you're ready, my friend. I hope you're ready because I'm definitely not. Let me put meat in there. We're going to move into game time. Oh my gosh. Gooderness. What have you done? Oh my God. So Gooderness, if you are not familiar with the raid game, that is okay. I will explain it really quickly to the people in chat, including yourself, you beautiful human. Thank you for that raid and thank you for those follows. I know I saw them before I missed them. So Gooderness, we have three rounds that you can play. Round one, we will spin the wheel and whatever it lands on, I have to use that thing in today's stream, which should be really interesting because I'm getting near the end of the stream. All right, so 
We're gonna spin round one. It's gonna give an ingredient. You have the option, and the chat can help you, to move to round two, assuming you win round one. Um, and that will be a challenge, a thing that I have to do on stream, and then round three, if you choose to go that far, will be the amount of time that I have to do the thing, the said thing, from round two. So, I'm gonna go ahead and spin round one for you, goodness. Gonna go ahead and do the spin move for you, my man. And we'll see where we go. Are you all ready? Are you all ready to go? Okay, you can see round one. I'm going to click it. All right, goodness, be nice to me, man. Be nice, be nice. Here we go, click to spin. Spinning, 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 where's it gonna land? I'm scared. Oh no. Oh, brown sugar. Brown sugar. Okay, I have to use brown sugar. So hold on, we're gonna go gooderness. Gooderness, oh you beautiful human. Thank you. We've got Mr. Gooderness. Gooderness, we gotta use brown sugar. Chat, do you want gooderness to spin round two? Let's do a hashtag yes or hashtag no. Oh my God, anonymous, anonymous. Dropping a $20, holy crap. Anonymous, I don't know who that is. Anonymous, you crazy human being, I love you. Oh my God, woo, $20 tip. I will keep on cooking, thank you. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are, but thank you so much. That's incredibly generous and incredibly kind of you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put brown sugar on the bacon. That's pretty easy, that's pretty easy. Looks like we got some yes. We got some yeses, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go round two. Jeff, triple zero eight three, thank you for the follow. And Val is, oh gosh. Val, 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 thank you for the follow. I can't say the names. Oh gosh, okay, we're gonna go to round two. Let's go to round two. We have overwhelming number of yeses. Moving on to round two. Is round two selected? No, round two is not selected. This is like the third time I've done this, guys. Forgive me. All right, round two, here we go. Gooderness, testing your luck. Moon Quill, thank you for that follow. Spinning the wheel. Here we go, you guys can see that, right? Oh gosh, I hope you, I hope the thing is selected. You can see, you can totally see. Where's it gonna land? Where's it gonna land? What do I gotta do? What do I gotta do? The Raider picks. Oh my goodness. All right, gooderness, oh my goodness. All right, gooderness. This one's a little tricky. This one's a little tricky because now the, the board is, is blacked out. <laughs> the board is blacked out. So there's a bunch of items on here. Can I somehow, I would like to maybe reset. Can I reset? Oh, goodness. You get to pick, but I can't. Oh, don't, don't spin, stop spinning. Okay, it's just gonna keep spinning. We're just gonna spin. Um, this doesn't count. So goodness. Um, there's a list of things on here that you can pick from. This one doesn't count. Um, oh, that's actually a pretty good one too. So, goodness, speaking questions. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Speaking questions. That one's gonna be tough. Speak in cues. All right, all right. So, we've gotta use brown sugar and we've gotta speaking questions. Chat, chat. Somebody help out Gooderness. Do we want to go to round three? Give us a yes or a no. Round three will determine how long I'm going to have to speak in questions. Um, this could be pretty, this could be damaging. This could be crazy, but you need to vote because there's a chance that it could all be taken away. There is a small chance that you could lose everything. So far, everyone said yes to every round in all of the raids that I've had. So no one's really lost. So round three, baby, we're getting a lot of yeses. We're getting a lot of yeses. <laughs> round four, there's no round four. Round four is we get back to the stream. It'll be, it'll be me just not talking because I'll, I'll screw it up. It gets, it gets, okay, so yeah, we're going, we're going yes. We're going yes. I see a bunch of yeses. Here we go. Oh, look, how convenient. Thank you, Chef Lethalbot, for spamming the chat. 
Um, all right, here we go. Working Chef, what's up? Welcome to the stream. We're spinning round three. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Good Lord and mercy. Oh, oh, oh. We got 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes on the clock. Goodness, GG for that raid. Thank you very much, my friend. Good sir. Working Chef, welcome. We just finished up a nice little raid game. Got raided by Mr. Gooderness. If you guys don't know about Gooderness, if you've been here, you need to go check him out. He's got an amazing voice. Amazing voice. Uh, does gaming and voice work amazing. If you, especially if you like Minecraft, go check him out. But occasionally catch him chill, doing stuff for the studio. So here we go. Here we go. Gooderness, this is for you, man. We gotta use brown sugar. We're gonna speak in questions for 20 minutes. All right, so it is currently 1.15. What time does that make it so that we have to finish talking in questions? <laughs> Can I do math? 20 minutes. Is it 20 minutes? Yes. May, I don't know. <laughs> 35. I can math. 135. How often will I ruin this? Should I drink some water? Do you guys think it's time for me to drink some water? Can you even see that? Will I just dance for the rest of the stream and not talk? Did Smitty's How just follow us? <sighs> what was I doing? Was I was I was I getting the grinder set up for the meat? How cold is the meat? Does it, does it sound like it's slim, semi frozen? Lawless, law lass, laws lass. Did laws lass just follow us? Now, am I gonna, am I gonna put the grinder here on like a medium type speed and, uh, do you get, should I should I start putting the meat in here? Maybe uh, do you guys think I should alternate between beef and pork? Um, does anyone have any idea how challenging this is for my brain right now? Bacon potato. Do you think I forgot about you? Would I want to say hi to you and thank you for being here? <laughs> oh. Night Mystic, do you feel that way? I wonder how quiet I'm going to get during some of these lulls. <laughs> That wasn't a question, sorry. Do you guys think that at some point we should develop like punishments for for if I screw up? Like, like what if I stop speaking in questions? Would I have to do five push-ups? Can I even do five push-ups? Should I dance to this song? Can you even hear the song? Is the grinder too loud? Should I step away from the grinder? Whoa. Did that just get awkward in the chat right now?
Should I keep going with the grinder? Mm-hmm. Do I have a 50-50 blend of pork belly and beef sirloin? Are these burgers going to be amazing? Are we gonna end up stuffing these burgers? Am I really bad at doing this? <laughs> How long do you think I'm gonna be able to leave my patriotic beard like this? Rip fingers. Um, do you think I can keep my fingers out of the way? Should I? Is my kitchen haunted? Would it not be true that I have done this once or twice before? Would it not be true that I'm gonna start speaking like a lawyer to get around the, uh, the, the challenge here? <laughs> Would it not be true that this is still very challenging, especially with the felt of this headband tickling my chinny chin chin? Do you guys think I forgot that I have to use brown sugar as well? Can you answer every... Would that make me more like a politician, Lottie? Isn't it true that when I wrote this option on the board, I thought it would be a lot easier than it really is? How is my wife reacting to this? She might be presently doing her nails. So not paying attention. Is she ignoring me? <laughs> is my house, <laughs> which reminds me of whose line is anyway. Lottie, um, would it not be true that that's where I got this from? All right. How can I, how can I explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, but only in questions? Um, let's see. Do I want the pork and the beef evenly mixed? Were those statements? I, I, is it not true that I don't remember making statements? <laughs> Do I still have some meat in there? Cozy, am I happy that you're here right now? Who was it that suggested there was still meat in the in the grinder? I can't do I remember? Can somebody explain to Cozy what I'm having to do? Is the meat done grinding? Why am I doing this? Do you guys think that at some point I'm gonna be legitimately trying to ask a question and you won't guys, you guys won't know if I'm trying to do the, the, the gimmick or legitimately ask a question? Can I use my hand now to fix my headband? 
Is that good enough? That's goodness. Is that is that goodness enough? <laughs> Can I remember to say goodness instead of good now? <sighs> Have you guys seen the cap? To there it is. Uh, it might be. Is it right here? Should I just remove the glove and uh, use, yeah. <laughs> Hall Lander? Am I thankful that Hall Lander just hit the follow button to my stream? Is my dream to stream coming true? Was that a terrible sentence to say? Is the headband falling again? How much time do I have left? Do I have 10 minutes left? <sighs> What's my favorite burger sauce? Um, wouldn't you agree that hunger is the best sauce? Is that a lame thing to say? Am I running long? <laughs> um, will I line this sh parchment paper, or this sheet tray with aluminum foil? Was that louder than anything? <laughs> Do I prefer tomatoes or pickles? Um, do I prefer tomatoes or pickles? Wouldn't it be true if I said that I prefer tomatoes? X, X Weaver? Zweaver? Zweaver TV? Zweaver. Zweaver. Um, did you just follow me? What? Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh. Do I have a lot more respect for improvisational people that can do this on the fly? Do I need to get my wife some more water? Would you like some ice? Are you talking about the orange straw? I threw it out. It was melted. It got stuck to the bottom of the <laughs> dishwasher. Nice. Will I add another minute to the timer because I had to speak to my wife? Did she just tell me no? <laughs> Do I want beer? Do I need more water? Are we getting close to, to the, the time of destination? Is it weird that I want to answer myself? Gooderness, are you happy with yourself, right? Are you pleased with yourself? <laughs> Is Tyson being the cutest thing of all time right now?
There you go, King. Are you happy? <clears throat> RM Gamer Nerd, how are you doing? Can someone explain to RM Gamer Nerd why I'm speaking in questions? Do I have aluminum foil right here? Is this my digital scale? Am I gonna weigh this meat to make sure that I have equal portions on every patty? Tune in next week to find out. <laughs> Am I hilarious? Is this gonna be a Murica burger? Am I looking for a, a total weight of approximately eight ounces American standard? Should I be really gentle with the meat? How much time is left? <laughs> Should I get moving quicker here? Can you even see what I'm doing? Can you see now? Do you guys like the music? Can you even hear the music? Are these gonna be the biggest burgers of all time? Are they gonna be big though? Did you forget that I'm gonna stuff them with blue cheese though? Would it not be true that I'm having a difficult time with this challenge? Would it be a true statement if I said that it is, it is in fact a challenge? Does meat that weighs the same cook at the same rate? King J, do you think I should do that? Um, um, should I do that? Is that a good idea? What about the bacon though? Would it be a better idea if I use it on the bacon? Is, is this more meat than I expected it to be? Did I do my math poorly? Is time almost up? Almost. Is time almost up? Are we looking good? Did you think we were done with the bacon? No, it would not be true if, what, I don't, did. Am I being gentle enough with the meat? Would it be true Would it be true if I said that I'm done weighing out the meat? <sighs> Am I counting down to the fact that we only have one minute left? Am I gonna split these patties in half? Do you want me to show you how I stuff a burger?
Does it look like I flattened that out enough? Am I gonna put a slab of blue cheese right in the middle of this burger? And am I going to flatten the other part of the patty here and put it right on top? It's 135 guys, holy moly. Oh, crazy. Okay, that was, that was difficult. Gooderness, thank you for that raid, you beautiful human, you beautiful penguin. So I just put a slab, just a, a big old block of, of blue cheese right in the middle of this patty. So I weighed out the patties to eight ounces, American. <laughs> and I'm gonna, uh, so then I split that in roughly about half, right? So then I, um, I flattened out side number one and uh, threw it on the, you know, threw it on the, on the thing here. There's, there's a lot of, this is gonna be a very rich burger. <laughs> Eight ounces of goodness. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm gonna try to move pretty quick here. So if I miss you in chat, I'm just trying to expedite the process here. I'm not gonna stuff all these guys because I'll be here all day. It's a, it's a slightly, you know, it's a little time consuming. So this is why I have the, the cheese off to the side. Uh, I'm being kind of, kind of shy with it actually. What am I doing? There, there we go. I think a little bit goes a long way with this. Uh, I think the, the funkiness, the funky comadinaness, funky comadinaness of the, uh, of the blue chaise will cut, will cut the fattiness like a knife or something like that. So here we go, just moving right along. Oh baby, I'm bowling. Here we go. So I just, you know, crimp the edges to make sure that I try to avoid a cheese explosion incident, as delicious as that sounds. Also trying to work quick because my hands are really warm and I don't want to melt all the fat in the, in the burger patty here. Baby, I'm baby, I'm bowling. Eight ounces of meat and then the eight ounces of cheese. Oh my God. Be a very expensive burger. Baby, I'm bowling. There we go. This one's gonna get a huge glob of cheese. Globarino, that is a technical term. Didn't know if you knew this. Dude. Yeah, there's a, there's a cool down, Pimsy. Give me the mic. I'm back, bitches. There's a cool down. Because I got, you know, like, egotistical and thought that people, multiple people, back to back to back, might be interested in how long I've been streaming. <laughs> Ling! Lin, Lin win, Lin, Lin, oh God, Lin wins, maybe? Thank you for that follow, welcome to the kitchen. Hopefully you are having a beautiful, beautiful day. So I'm out of the, the cheese portion that I, uh, I had set aside specifically for the interior. Aren't mods excluded? Not my cooldowns, my, uh, my cooldowns are over 9,000 or something, some other meme. <laughs> So I'm just being, you know, gently, gently massaging the meat patties here. And just coming, coming around. Balling, 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 balling. Bring that beat back, baby, um, baby, um. Baby, I'm balling. So it's got. These, these burgers are gonna be incredibly rich. Baby, I'm bowling. So I've got three stuffed, three non-stuffed. I'm okay with that. Um, I'm gonna take like 15 seconds here. Got it right on the first try. Oh, snap roonies I'm gonna take like 15 seconds here just to kind of get cleaned up, organized, because we're gonna be getting down into the cooking portion of the program. And uh, by golly, I have made a mess, as usual. As usual, 
There may or may not be a mess over here. Uh, it will be over here. Do you have water? Do you need water? Oh, I can get it for you. Want ice? Okay. You're welcome. All right. So we got some Sprite. Spoiler alert, guys. I have Sprite in my refrigerator. Whoop, that's good. Whoop. Whoop. There you go, boom. You're welcome. How you guys doing? Where's the grill? No grill. No grill today. I don't have the setup that can allow for grilling at the moment on stream anyway. Maybe one day that would be the dream, but uh, not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. So. So I've got cooked bacon already, guys. I promise, I said I was gonna do some organization and what am I doing? I'm moving right into the next phase of the program. Let me, let me organize here real quick. Cause I'm losing my mind. Losing my mind a little bit, a little wee bit. Hello, Lucy. Hello, darling. Oop. Okay, so this, this can go back in the, in the pantry. A lot of off camera stuff happening, right guys? Apologize for being enigmatic. You meant grill or? Grill what? <laughs> so we got that. This is gonna be ready. I'm gonna keep this off to the side. Paper towels should go away um, to where they belong. Over there, very good. Um, I'm gonna be needing this shortly. And I need this. Oh, this poses a problem, doesn't it? <laughs> here, okay. So, this is gonna be over here. So as I get into the final preparation stage here, guys, I gotta just make sure that my station is set the way I want it. You know, so I have kind of an even, even flow. Something, 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 something. <laughs> so yeah, I've got the bacon here. Man, I'm still reeling from that $20 Anonymous. I don't need the scale anymore. I probably will need my glove for shizzle. Let me grab the brown sugar, excuse me, of... That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh man. Cheetos. All right, bacon. How am I gonna cook it? I just need to coat it. I just need it coated. Mm. Here's what I'm gonna do. I have a, a pie tray here. I'll line with a little bit of aluminum. All right. Sweet. I'm only gonna do two pieces because Mrs. Lethal will probably want the other two potentially. Uh, and I don't want to contaminate the whole bunch, but I'll eat the I'll eat the pieces with the brown sugar on it. Cause I ain't scared. This is this is my challenge anyway. It's a challenge for me. So there we go. So now I'm going to just unceremoniously dump a bunch of brown sugar on here. <laughs> That'll probably be fine. That's actually way too much, but it's gonna get nice and candied. Again, guys, Gooderness did this with a very strong raid jumping in. Much love to the gooderness. Much love, much love. Here we go. Now keep in mind also that the oven is still on. The oven's still on from the pork belly that's in there. So I'm gonna just coat this real nice over here <laughs> with, uh, with brown sugar. I don't know if this is you're probably supposed to do this when the bacon is not already cooked, but uh, ask me if I care. This will be fine. There we go. 
We're gonna have some heavily candied bacon. There we go. So, lots, lots of brown sugar on the bacon. It's like, it's basically brown sugar with a side of bacon. I'm gonna throw that in there. Our pork belly is actually looking pretty sweet right now. Um, no pun intended. Okay, checklist. Um, we've got this, the pan ready for a burger, which I'm gonna go ahead and just hit it with some oil, ready to go. I'm gonna need a plate for the burgers to come out onto and rest. Resting burger face. Hiya! Good, that'll go here, I guess. This will be for the potatoes when they're when they come out of the fryer. I'm gonna need salt. Do I have smoked salt? Boo! Ba -da 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 -da. Whoa, geez, light, please. Whoa, geez, light, please. I know you guys are like blocked right now. Uh, let's see, everything seasoning. Herbes de Provence. Autumn harvest. Horseradish powder, that probably needs to get thrown away. I've had that forever. Nutmeg, uh oh. Oh, you know what, I used the last of it. I used the last of my smoked salt a couple of days ago. Oh well, we'll use regular salt. It's all right, it's all right. So the fries will come out. They'll briefly rest to get tossed with uh, paper towels and then they'll go into the bowl where I'll toss them while they're still very, very hot. Um, with, uh, with salt, I have one more patty's worth of, of burger meat. Don't look in my, guys, I feel like some of you are looking in my fridge right now and I don't appreciate that. <laughs> uh, this, hi, oh, geez. Oh, that actually kind of works. Good, this can go here. All right, and I need my plate of tomatoes. Just getting everything set up. I'm gonna put this off to the side. Doo -doo -doo. Sorry, I gotta get my, my meat grinder kind of uh, soaked up so that the, you know, it gets clean. Just for a little bit. There we go, I'm just gonna let this sit. This is the thing I'll have to clean immediately after the stream is over, but that's fine. That's not to do right now. Man, what's up everybody? I feel like I haven't said hi to you all out there. Um, so I love you very much for being here. Look how white I am, look how bright my face is. Um, I love you all very much for being here. If you're out there and lurking, I love you. You don't have to come out of lurk. I just wanna say hello and I love you. And if you're out there and you are lurking and you have not hit that follow button and you are enjoying the stream, Please hit that follow button. It does mean a lot to me. Um, hot dang, we're <laughs> about to hit a milestone already. This is crazy. Um, so I'm just trying to organize my thoughts, guys. Trying to organize my thoughts. I've got the oil that I've got to turn on. I gotta get that oil turned on. I got vegetables ready to go over here. I've got some aluminum foil that I don't really need at the moment, but it's good to have on hand. Um, I got a plate where the burgers are gonna go. I've got a bowl that the french fries are gonna go onto. I need my presentation plate. Presentation plate. Buns. Buns. Oop. Yeah. Buns, hun. Okay, so bun. We're getting to the final countdown. Excellent speech, Chef. <laughs> One shot law, you didn't have to come out of lurk. That's always my fear. That's always my fear when I call out the lurkers just to say hi, that somebody's gonna come out. You don't have to, I don't, I don't want you guys to feel obligated like you have to come out of lurk. I got some delicious potato buns, guys. Potato buns are like the best, the best buns. I mean, let's face it, potato buns, guys. Really, guys, 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 potato buns, okay? So let me check on the, the bacon. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. Turn it up! Uh, just so I can kinda help that, the, the brown sugar cook in. So, final prep, what do we got, what do we got? The burgers are gonna cook. They're gonna go over there. The french fries are gonna cook. They're gonna go over here. I need paper towels. I need more than a few paper towels. Pew. Do, 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 do. More than a few paper towels. We're gonna set up our station over here. Set up the station. Oh, 
But I hopefully, I hope that you're all enjoying the broadcast so far. Iron Phil 79, thank you for that follow. Welcome, welcome. Your buns are the, oh, Anthony R, thank you very much. How comfortable am I making dishes from other countries? Uh, I'm not really great with pottery, but I mean, I could try. Kappa. Um, okay, so, sorry, I keep going through the same checklist in my head, guys, but I just want to make absolutely sure that we're good. Um, because once this train starts a rolling, we can't really stop. <laughs> so that'll that'll be that'll be it. So let me. I want to cook the burger. I want to get the burgers going. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat on to like a medium-ish. Uh, I feel like these are gonna to have to cook for a decent amount of time. How good am I at making? Fries. Well, we're about to find out. Adge. A ape? Ape? I'll just say ape. Ape? Is that okay? Ape? I'll call you ape. Um, I've made fries before, and they're pretty good. Should make pizza. Dommy, I already have. I did that a few streams ago, man. It was like a, an epic uh, pizza stream, man. It was awesome. It was a lot of fun. It was a ton of fun. All right. So, I'm gonna get my glove on for one, one final doodad here. Ape, sure. <laughs> Sorry. I probably butchered it. You probably don't want to be called ape. But for me, there's so many letters. There's so many letters. So I, got to, I had to move the salt over here because I, I gotta make sure my burger is salted. I'm gonna cook that one first. I think I could probably get two in here, actually. And I'll probably do that. I'll get two in there. I'll do, I'll do two cheese stuff, you know, cause why not, why not? Do, 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 Um, let's see. Anything is fine if I know you need me and me. All right, cool. Um. I will say that the water is starting to catch up to me, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna try to power through though. Toad's gonna try to power through. I'm also, I'm gonna crank the oven now. This absolute crank to see what our pork belly can actually look like. I don't know. Here, get cranked. There we go. So, we got oil on the pan. Getting nice and warm. It's loose, loosen up. I got oil up here that's ready to go. Uh, what about pee? No! Bacon potato, don't do this. <laughs> don't play that game with me. Don't you dare play that game with me. Uh, it'd be like the worst time to, to have to take a break, like right near the end of the stream. Um, so I've got my French fries that were par cooked and sitting in the freezer. Wrap packs. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a great day. Appreciate you hitting that follow button. It means a lot to me. Welcome to the kitchen and again, welcome to the stream. Hopefully your Saturday has been or will be awesome. And hopefully I'm contributing to part of that. Mm-hmm. So I've got the potatoes here, the French fried potatoes that are going to be going in the hotter oil uh, coming up here shortly. I wanna make sure that I get the burgers done first because the burgers will handle um, sitting off heat better than the fries will. Oh. Today's actually been a pretty quiet day at work, guys. I'm pretty, pretty thankful about that. Also, another thing, I, I talked earlier about the differences between heating up oil and heating up water. Oil holds onto its heat a lot longer than, uh, than water does. All right, so the oil here is, is about ready for the, for the actual cooking of Le Burgers. So I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit two of these guys with a little bit of salt. You know what? I should probably do some pepper too. I should hit some pepper in. Do I have any? Hmm. Let me use this one. Cause they look a little. They look like they need a little water. Uh, pepper. A little water. All right. Screw the glove. We're gonna do it this way. All right. 
So nice amount of uh, black pepper. Hit the other burger with a little bit of salt. And then we're gonna pepper grind all over that. There we go. And then we'll do a, a nice flip job. Flip, salt, and salt. And I can't grind. Can I grab this without getting porky fingers on there? I think I just accomplished. Oh yeah, I don't want to cross contaminate the, uh, the pepper grinder. Here we go. Sweet. So if I'm not mistaken, this should produce some ASMR, AMS, AM, the sound thing. All right, there we go. Good, nice and seasoned. Here we go. There we go. So the burgers are starting to cook. I'm gonna wash my hands of their porky goodness and their beefy goodness. You can't, you can't forget about the beefiness. I mean, you can, but then you would be, you'd have a bad time. Whew. I feel like my bladder is shrinking. I'm fine though, I'm fine, I'm fine. I can do this. You can do it, chef. Power through, man, power through. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Puppy spy. What's up? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the strum. Not all oil. Well, the mass of it does if you cook it at 400 degrees. Also, you can't get water to 400 degrees anyway. All right. The pork belly is doing okay. It looks like the, the brown sugar is starting to melt on the bacon here and there. So I'm going to turn on the heat now for the for the french fries. Also, I need to make sure that I've got, oh, I don't want that spatula, I want this spatula. This is my spatula. I like this spatula a lot for cooking burgers in here. Um, there's also a myth where you should only flip it once. Flip it as many times as you want, you'll actually end up cooking the burgers faster. It works with, uh, you know, steak and stuff like that. So, looking good, looking good. So, can, does that sound, decent to you all. I tell you, it smells decent to this chef right here. Mmm. Yeah, stick your face in the hot oil. Way to go. <laughs> nice. Nice one. All right, looking good, looking good. I'm fine. I'm okay. So... I feel like I want to flip pretty soon just to see what side A looks like because we're going to get a really nice crust. One good thing about cooking burgers inside like this is you get a good crust almost no matter what. Um, you know, like on a grill, if you, do the, if you do the flip once method, then you're only getting, you know, crust on the bars. Oh, good. The sounds sound good. Like it. I like it a lot. Everyone be attracted by my sounds. Instead of a cleavage streamer, I'll become a sound streamer, and I'll just, I'll just sit here and just cook things in hot oil and get the sound going. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're getting a nice crust over here. I can, I can dig it. Very nice looking. The burger is starting to separate <laughs> where I put it together. Both of them are separating. I didn't do a very good crimp job. Whoops. Well, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Welcome back, King. <laughs> ASMR. Show us the burger patty. Um, Where are we? Here? Over here. Over here? 
Wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. Hold on. So you can kind of tell. Got some nice crusties action going on there. Let me get that back on the heat because it's not done cooking. Do -do -do -do. There we go. Cool. So how you doing over here, oil? Oil is slowly creeping back up to the temperature that I want it. Let me just crank the heat. Give a nice swirl here. We're getting a lot of rendering fat from the burgers. Like I said, they are gonna be rich. You're not into burgers. That's all right. That's all right, not everyone is, that's okay. Although I have to say I've never met anyone who's not. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. I'm just messing with you. But really, seriously. All right, we're looking good on the burgers. Looking good, all right, let me check in here what we got. I feel like the sugar is very slowly melting into the uh, into the dealio. Oh, Bandora's here, what's up, man? What's up? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing all right. I'm gonna stick the fries back in the freezer for just a second, because uh, we're not quite ready for them. I want at least the oil to get close to where I want it before I, before I turn it on. Before I turn it on? Before I get them out. So right now they're just getting warm and defeating the whole purpose of why I took, froze them in the first place. Yeah, oh yeah, that's sexy. That's a sexy burger right there, man. That is a sexy burger. Ooh, ooh, the burger's making me feel things in my pants. Mostly that I have to pee. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. Foot fungus Fred. What's up, man? Welcome, welcome. Oh, it kind of looks like I do, doesn't it? <laughs> Ariana, that's not nice. That's not nice. <laughs> that's so mean. All right, so the benefit of the burgers opening up like they did is that I can kind of look in and see basically how done they are. <laughs> I'll, say that, I'll say that we're looking really, really nice right now. I will say that we're probably about done with dispatch. Dispatch? Yeah, it's dispatch. Oh man, the crust is so real right now. I'll, I'll pull these off the heat real quick. When they're done in about 10 seconds, I'll show you guys the crust. Oh, bending over is not great. Oh, <laughs> I'm really fine, guys. I, I haven't really, I'm dehydrated. I haven't drank any water. All right, I'm calling it right there. If these are a little overdone, it's gonna be okay because um, there, there's plenty of, of fat in here to keep them moist. And also, uh, the chaise. Cannot forget about the chaise that is in the middle. So let's move this over. Let's do this. I'm gonna leave this off the heat for just a second, but guys, here, I'm gonna put this like that. And then, Rhea's here. Oh my gosh, Rhea, virtual haste. We had so many people here. What's up, people? Welcome, welcome. Rhea made it out to a stream. Guys, stop talking about things that involve water. So check this out, where's my phone? I don't know if that helps. But yeah, I've got a really nice brown situation going on here. And I feel pretty, I feel pretty good about that. Feel pretty good about that. Gang! Gamer Beast, what's up? Welcome, welcome. Whew. Oh lordy, okay. So yeah, these are these are good. These are good to go. These will release much moist uh, here very soon. The oil is getting there. The oil is getting there. We're not quite there. I'm gonna turn this burner off for a moment. I'm just gonna leave these off for a second. How are we looking down here? The sugar is melting into our bacon. That looks good. Our oil is just over halfway to the temperature that I want it. Gammon. <sighs> you 
You guys are so rude. You guys are so rude. Oh, I have it on the wrong way. <laughs> Let's go like that. A honey glaze. Oh man, that sounds nice, Rhea. All right, screw you guys. I have to, I have to, I have to. <laughs> I have to take a potty break. Or as you people in the England say, to the toilet, I have to go to the toilet. I cannot, I can, I have lost, I have lost with myself. I must, I must break. And I must, please, Spotify, please. Oh, I'm, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. There we go. This computer. There we go. That's still playing. Yes, all right. All right, let me hit the toilet. I gotta take, I'm taking the oil off of the heat because as I mentioned before, like leaving that on could potentially be really, really bad. So I'm gonna take it off and I'm going to mute the microphone really quick and I'll be right back. I'll put on the BRB screen, um, but hang out, I'm gonna, oops. I'm gonna take like, it'll be 30 seconds. I know like you're probably all gonna leave and that's fine, but 30 seconds, I'll be right back.
Okay, hello everybody. I'm back. I had an emergency. Not only that I had to, uh, I had to use the toilet. Um, for one, my microphone was being a microphone and was giving me problems. Two, the bacon is ruined. Um, the bacon is totally ruined. I can't use it. Burnt, burnt, burnt. <laughs> Super burnt. Um, so I don't know what I can do about it. Yeah, very, very burnt. I had to move it outside because smoke all over the place. Let me get my music back on. Um, I don't have enough time to make another piece of, of, of uh, the brown sugar bacon. I do still have some bacon that I can use for the burger. Um, I, just, I came back out and there's plumes of smoke coming out of the oven. There we go. Um, so, sorry about that. Um, Gooderness, if you're still out there. Um, I can't use the brown sugar bacon because I ruined it because of my bladder. Um, very sorry. Uh, I think it was a good enough challenge. Apparently I cannot handle the challenge. Let me make sure I wash my hands because I got, um, you know, stuff. <laughs> um, no, hopefully my, my smoke alarm shouldn't, it shouldn't go off, but it is really hazy in here. Um, so, sorry about that, everybody. That kind of sucks. M. Gowdy, thank you for hosting me. Really appreciate it. Also, you guys really, really right now surprise me crazy because you're all still here. I honestly expected you all to leave and be like, you know, this guy can't even cook. He has to go pee. Um, what a what a farce. But no, you're all still here, um, which is incredible to me. Very cool. Just eat some brown sugar. All right, you know what? You're right. I can't. I can't just. I can't just not. I can't just not. Right. I got to do the brown sugar in some shape. Right. I already. I already proved. I left, but came back. Hey, I did the same thing. Oh, we did. We, we lost a little bit. I'm not worried about it. Look, guys. How can I use what? brown sugar? Brown sugar. Brown sugar. I can't use it on the bacon. I don't really want to put it on the. On the, uh, oh, the pork belly's looking pretty legit right now. That's smoking up too, because there's a bunch of fat in the bottom of the pan. <sighs> I feel a lot better though. I can actually like breathe, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be lurking. No, cool, cool, Rhea, no problem. Why would we fault you for being human? I don't know, but thank you. Thank you for that. Um, okay, so the oil's looking good. The oil's coming to temperature. I'm gonna focus on this right now. Okay, what if? What if I tossed some french fries in brown sugar? Like a serving of french fries, I tossed them in brown sugar. That'll work, right? Kind of burnt my thumb a little bit. Dealing with the bacon. Brown sugar on the, I don't, I've already, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I could, I'm thinking maybe toss with the fries. Maybe. It should melt, right? There should be enough heat. Like, I almost feel like brown sugar on the burgers would taste pretty good, but on the fries, it'd be really weird. And uh, I think we should kind of go for the weird factor. Oh, the pork belly in there's looking really nice. We're getting up on temperature here, so I need to, I need to get set on what we're gonna do. The burgers here, I probably cooked them a little bit premature. Hmm. I don't, the cheese won't be oozy because it's blue cheese. It's not really a, a good melting cheese like that, but it should be all right. Brown sugar fries. If you do it on the fries, use a bit of cinnamon possibly. Ooh, Ariana. Some people, well, let me see if I can, how far open can we go here? Oh, you know what? Let me focus on one thing at a time because I don't want to, I don't want to screw up the oil too because then we have fire. French fries. All right, here we go. We're about ready to go on the French fries. Holly Beebe! Oh my God, Holly Beebe's here. Hi, Holly. Hi, Holly. Sugar's on 
on fries is delicious with salt and pepper. Guys, if you don't know Holly Beebe, you need to know Holly Beebe. She did all my graphics and stuff, and she's like pretty much amazing. Uh, also a broadcaster, designer, um, fiance to like one of my Twitch mentors, even though I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't know it yet. Um, crazy, I'm so happy you're here. Oh my gosh, we're just kind of finishing up, getting to the good, getting to the good stuff. Um, we got raided by Gooderness. I've got a raid game, so uh, I have to use brown sugar, and I had to speak in questions for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and toss in some of these French fries with uh, with some brown sugar and some salt, and see how that goes. Man, and machine. So I'm going to carefully drop the cold par cooked potatoes in the oil and pray that we don't have a fire. We got lots of popping though, as the, as the moist, as the moisture on the outside bubbles away. But good, we don't have, we're not having a fire hazard right now. All is good in the world. Still got goodness two OP. I know Holly, and then I burnt the bacon uh, that had the brown sugar on it. So way too OP. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try, uh, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to toss it with the Burt, with the French fries. Happy America weekend, and happy Canadian weekend to you too, madame. All right, so let me get brown sugar. Brown sugar! Oh, now, now we're talking, guys. Now we have freedom fries that look more like you expect some damn freedom fries to look. And the temperature, okay, temperature's getting a little high. I'm gonna turn the heat down just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. And we're cooking, we're cooking. Oh, it looks good. Looks good, man. Oh yeah, we got some nice browning. So remember, I cooked the, the potatoes uh, a little bit earlier at a lower temperature to cook the inside. That oil does not look safe. What are you talking about? Yeah, well, it's just from the freezer. It's not like there's no water. Uh, it may be a little bit of water vapor, but uh, no, man, we're fine. I'm keeping I'm keeping things pretty legit, pretty safe right now. I'm, I'm okay. Appreciate you guys. Look, oh, we have French fries. We have oh, man down. We have some golden brown. Oh, some of these could use another minute or two. Woo! Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Yeah, some of these, some of these could use another moment. Like you could probably go in there for a second, and you could, yeah. Some of these, some of these not quite ready. Some of these way ready. You could use another moment in there. Oops. <laughs> so let me give this a shaky poo, shaky poo. So now we have crisp. Now we have crisp, right? And this this oil is, is starting to look okay. I gotta get these these French fries seasoned though. Freedom fries, excuse me. I need to get them seasoned while they're piping hot. Piping, piping hot. Woo, hot. Especially if we're gonna use the sugar. If we're gonna use the sugar, we gotta get it in quick. We gotta get it in quick. So let me hit a little bit of salt. And we'll go, we'll go some brown sugar. Yes, please. They look fine. That was a bad example. Ape, you're so judgmental. You're so judgmental. Goodness. <laughs> All right, I gotta say, the sugar is not melting. Sugar not melting. Onto the french fries. We'll be coated, it'll be coated though. We'll make sure, I'll make sure to get a nice coating on there. These are probably most definitely done. The oil is creeping up to a temperature that I do not feel comfortable with. <laughs> Turn that down even more. Get these off. Wow. And we'll go for round number two of limp potato goodness. Here, let's go like this. There we go. And the oil is plenty hot, so I'm gonna go right in. Get off! I'm also gonna turn the oven off. 
Because we got that pork belly in there. I feel like it's good. Tyson, what are you doing? Tyson, man, why you gotta be in here? He's so nosy. <laughs> Tyson. Tyson's our foster kitty, if anyone is curious. Could have put it on a couple burgers, oh my gosh. Chef, I plan on doing some cooking streams in the future. Do you have any tips? Hmm. Uh, let's see, let's see. Do I have any tips for Holly BB? Um, I mean, I'll say this. I'll say this is, I don't know if this is so much a tip as it is just like in my own personal experience. This is a significant amount harder than, uh, than gaming. <laughs> than a gaming stream. This is like at least 100% more difficult because of the level of planning and effort. Um, I would say make sure you have a solid plan of what you want to do. Uh, get a good artist that makes your scenes. You know, that's, that's, that's paramount. Um, <laughs> All right, I gotta get moving here. So I'm just gonna, man. Yeah, we didn't get anything. Hmm. These are good. There's a little bit of sugar on there, but not a lot. Not enough to really call these like brown sugar fries. So I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna try something else. So I've got this fresh batch here in the fryer. As soon as I dump them, I'm gonna hit them with some brown sugar. In fact, I may just, let me go like this. Let me take these out of this bowl. Bole, bole, bole. Because it's actually pretty good. Like, that's tasty. All right, so I've got brown sugar in the bowl. I'm gonna transfer these right from, right from here to the bowl. Please, brown, that's fine. We're good, close enough. There we go. This is why I like using the spider strainer. What's our temperature at? I still got a few more French fries I can cook. American or freedom fries, whatever. <laughs> Here we go. This should this should work out a little bit better. Get the salt on there. And yes, I feel like this is slightly slightly better. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Brown sugar in the oil. That would be really, really bad. <laughs> it's a good thought, really bad. It would ruin the oil. It would ruin, it would ruin a lot of things. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the last batch in while I plate up the burger. This should be, yeah, that's fine. That's good. <laughs> there we go. Last batch. Last batch. Hmm. Mmm. French fries, too OP, man, too OP. I would, I would very, oh man, I got oil on my keyboard over here. Sorry guys, I'm off cam for just one second, just making sure that work is okay. All right. Also, Holly, if you want like legit tips, like um, hit me up after the stream. <laughs> I'll, I'll make time to talk to you. Don't you worry about that. I'm, I'm very encouraging of, of people that want to do cooking streams. Um, I don't know how, how helpful my tips would be, but, um, I can try. A man can try. Right? I can't, I can't. <laughs> this is going to turn into a social eating stream real quick. <laughs> real quick. So, I'm going to go a little bit of mayo on the bottom of the bun, because that's how I roll. That is how I roll. Get it? Because the bun is technically a roll so this does a couple things one I just like the flavor of mayonnaise but also it, it creates a, a waterproof barrier between the burger which should be really 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 juicy and I shouldn't have done that why did I do that that was a bad idea um, don't do that either that's even worse premature thanks for the thank you Holly well and, and absolutely absolutely I mean 
you've helped me out. I'll help you out. I, I'll tell you guys a story. I'm not going to mention any names, but I reached out to another cooking streamer re semi-recently, kind of when I was, I was getting really into it, and I asked somebody who was, who was, they are, they are a successful stre uh, streamer. I'm going to try to be pronoun neutral here. This person is a successful creative cooking streamer. And I reached out for help and I was like, excuse me, person, um, do you have any tips, you know, for me? Uh, I would really like to know, you know, just, just a basic Q&A of what has your experience been? Do you have any tips? You know, real low, easy ball stuff, you know? And uh, the response I got back was, like, I spoke to Mrs. Lethal about it, like, afterwards, and, and Mrs. Lethal was like, sounds like she was kind of throwing shade. Like, she's, oh, frick, like, the person... The streamer is is worried about you and you know you're like you're you're a threat you're competition i was like that's so stupid why are you gonna be like that for one this other person does not stream in the same time that i do mostly and two there's no such thing as stealing viewers uh it just made me it made me sad it made me sad so i told i told myself i told mrs lee that won't be me like anybody wants help i'll give you some dang help some cayenne virtual haste what's up man welcome welcome oh man it's raining like crazy outside oh heck d dubs <laughs> in before holly makes weenies <gasps> i did reveal i'm sorry i'm um, sorry i didn't say names though i didn't say names so oh baby i'm balling again okay i'm bubbling so let's let's put this macaroni right here oh I've got a singular piece of bacon that I'll just chop in half. I know this is not the American way, but I didn't cook enough bacon, guys. Baby, do we get to see me eat it? Of course. Of course. But I gotta get it all, you know, I gotta get it all. Oh, we have pickles. I made pickles. I made Tommy pickles. Guys. I made Tommy pickles. Mega smoke, yeah, I know. There's there's still pork belly in there. So all the fat on there is is doing its own thing. All right, so let's do let's do a sliver of tomato, a sliver. I said a sliver. Baby, I'm bone. Little 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 tomat, a little tomat. Also, my arm. Social eating. Well, it won't actually be social eating because it's part of my stream. Uh, don't even, don't even get me started on the whole social eating thing. All right, let me, let me. I haven't even tasted a pickle. Oh snap! This is delicious. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. Let's get some homemade pickles up on here. You get some homemade pickles right like that. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Bacon Brotato, you you hit the nail on the head right there, buddy. And that's why that's why I felt so like just kind of turned off by the whole thing. I was like, um, you know, it's like, especially especially in the niche of cooking streamers, there are so few of us. It's like, we should really be supporting each other. But instead we get this shade. Alright, so I'm Baby yum, baby yum. Lakeisha, what's up? It's been a while since you've been here. Goodness gracious. All right. Extra impact, we're down to 61. Well, those people that left are about to miss out because we're getting to the, we're getting to the good stuff now. Let me take this pork out of the oven first. And maybe we'll, we'll, we'll see what that's gonna be all about. Uh, don't do that, let's move this. Don't step on the kitten <laughs> that's off camera. You guys can't see. Let me drink some water now that I don't have to pee. <sighs> I got rhymes for days. Um, it's just me. Oh man. So this is what our pork belly looks like now. This was just like an auxiliary thing that I did off uh, on the side. Like a little side project. Oh, plastic. So I'm gonna place, oh, I don't really have a spot set up for that, but that, that'll work. Whew. 
smoky up in here, guys. I am not doing a good job at uh, the smoke management levels here. Some creative stream. I know, it's so like, ah, it's annoying. Like, why you gotta be like that, man? So now I'm not, I'm not interested in supporting that person via either a subscription or just hosting, rating, or anything like that because of the negativity. It's like, this could be really mutual because I'm gonna get famous one day. <laughs> uh, optimistic Chef is optimistic. First year Hermione Granger, oh my God. All right, so. How, am I, how do I wanna do this? This is not gonna be the, the sexiest plate, I'll say. But I'll put the, the, the freedom fries here. I'll even, I'll top it with the brown sugar like it's some sort of crumble. Does anyone know if Gooderness has an Instagram? Uh, I, I don't think he, I, I wouldn't think that he does, but he might, and if anybody knows, so I can tag him in the photo um, for the brown sugar. We're getting to the good stuff now, guys. That's true, Chef. You're awesome. Oh, Holly, no, 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 no. I'm not, uh, I'm not like fishing for compliments, but thank you. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my glamour shot. Can I play CSGO? I probably can. I'm probably not very good, and I don't play it. Like, that's one of the games that I, I don't know if I've intentionally just stayed away from, but I just stay away from it. Not the front camera. We had a discussion. Oh man, I'm sweaty. All right, here we go. Uh, let's move the advertisement for my grocery store. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is, oh, this. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. Sorry, just dancing. Okay, so last stuffed thing I made, I made a mistake of not taking a, a photo after like I either cut into it or something. Hmm. You know what? The brown sugar on the french fries doesn't suck. <laughs> it does not suck. All right. So I can go like this. It's not the best angle. Not the best angle down here. Does Mrs. Chef Lethal know about my so Yeah, she does. Most of them anyway. Hmm. I'll say it's a lot better than the tortilla. A lot better than the peanut butter tortilla. All right, I'm gonna, I'm going to attempt to bite into this. Should I cut it first or bite into it first? All right, here we go. This is a this is an enormous sandwich. So I'm gonna give it a smush. Hold on, let me go over here. Let me kind of clean up a space here. So I'll come over here, where are we? Here, okay. Cut it first, okay, cut it first. Which way is the bacon facing? We'll go like this. Cut it first, all right guys, I got you. I'll show you guys right when I'm about to take a take a bite, but I, I gotta, I mean. Oh, baby. That looks sexy. All right, guys. Oh, Mrs. Lethal's here. Everyone hide. The popo. All right, guys, hold on to your butts. I don't know if you can, 
If you can, I'll be posting all these pictures to uh, to the Instagram later, of course. But check this out. Oh, the lighting is horrible in here, though. Eh. So you can kind of tell. You can kind of tell the blue cheese right in the middle there of the of the patty. Here, maybe I can. Um... Oh, bacon. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea, but at this point. I've already gone a little bit longer than I meant to. Yeah, the lighting in here really sucks. The picture will be a lot better on Instagram. I mean, I'm like totally pimping out my Instagram like hardcore, but that's where that's where the best stuff is gonna be. So um, let's move this back like that. All right, here we go, guys. A big sandwich in my fat mouth. Oh, good lord. This, um, this is crazy. There's a lot going on here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Holy moly. Okay. So part of what I try to do here is describe to you what I'm feeling. Because you can't actually eat this, but maybe you can live vicariously, okay? So first of all, the burger patty. Incredibly juicy, okay? Incredibly juicy. Should Mrs. Lee, no, she's got a whole burger to herself, Ariana, if she wants it, which she probably does. So the burger patty, incredibly juicy because we use the pork belly, right? And there's a balance between porkiness and beefiness, delicious. The iceberg lettuce, crispy. That's all it really needs to be there for. The, the pickles are very acidic and it helps cut through the funkiness of this blue cheese. This whole thing is a mess, an absolute mess, a delicious, delicious mess. Mm. I gotta say, this is pretty well balanced. Pretty well balanced, very messy, very, very America. That reminds me. Hmm. Hold on. Oh man. It's, oh man, so good, okay. Let me, um. I gotta, I mean, it's been, hold on. Okay, my, my, my wind filter fell off. Ariana, Celestine, thank you for the follow. Papa Thrash, thank you for the follow. Guys, you guys are amazing. Check it out. I'm Captain Murica. I gotta face this way. Captain Murica. So, so good, so freaking good. Ba, 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 ba. No, Caustic, a thousand is the, uh, a thousand followers is the fridge, the fridge tour. The, the dance stream 
is the, the tip bar at the bottom. We do have something else here. Um, yeah, this burger was legit though. I will be eating that a lot very shortly. You know what? Some of that brown sugar got on that burger piece I just ate, and that was pretty good too. So, I'm sorry for doubting you people. Oh, Tyson. Who that? Fane the Insane has joined the kitchen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the follow. Papa Thrash, well, I'm glad that you found me, man. I'm glad you found me. I have this, uh, this slab of pork belly over here. And I think the skin is mega, 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 mega hard. <laughs> Um, <laughs> let me see, do I have to dirty another? Here, I'll use, uh, I'll use this. This will be fine. Yes, this already had pork on it. And I'll flip it even. Oh, look at me, being all resourceful and stuff. We gotta check the pork belly out. Cause I, this was just a, an impromptu thing that I wanted to do, cause I had it laying around. So let's see what the pork belly Oh goodness gracious. If this turns out to be legit, then uh, put that on the burger. All right. So the skin is incredibly, incredibly, ow. Oh my God, you guys. So, this might be Scooby snack number two here. Ooh, it's also piping hot. Do we have crispy pork skin? Woo! We do. We do. Oh man. Okay. La da da. You know, I'm just gonna make a, a mishmash here. <laughs> mm. Holy moly. I'm done. <laughs> wow. This was crazy. Schoolboy, please, I can't concentrate. Oh. <sighs> we need to order some Chinese. Miss Beanie, what's up? Welcome. All right, guys, I see, I see follows on Twitter. I see follows on Instagram. You guys are killing it today. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, I have to go. Um, it's been much, much longer. Uh, yeah, five hours, almost five and a half hours. I was not supposed to be live this long, but I, we got into a groove and I started grooving. And uh, my heart, my heart right now is just like, it doesn't know what to do. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to take a peek here and see if there's anyone around that we want to raid. If you guys feel like a raid action, um, I feel like we could really make somebody's day. Uh, you know, if, if a few of us came over, um, I tell you what, can you guys do me a favor? Can you guys do me a favor, please? Um, what I want to do is, and I never do this, this will be the first time I ever do this, okay? So if you guys, please, 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 please join me. Um, I want to go raid 
my, one of my, my, my mentor, I'll just go ahead and call him my Twitch mentor. Um, many of you probably already follow him. I know at least a handful of you already follow him, but I feel like at this point, we've got some numbers. If a bunch of us came over, I want to go raid Death Ridge. Okay. Um, he is like such an inspiration. He's, he's a guy that has taught me a lot, even though he may not know it. Um, and I'm not just saying that because his fiance is here. Um, like watching him stream, he's very, he's always open to giving advice, to giving people feedback or, or anything. And he's just a very, very, very nice guy. And I want to go, I want to go raid him out. That sounded gross, but I want to go raid him. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give you guys the link here. Don't worry. I just got to get him. I just got to get it pulled up over here. Uh, but he's playing, it looks like speedrunners right now. He does variety streams. He's also got another channel where he plays, um, he plays, uh, Minecraft primarily. Is he ending? He shouldn't be ending, is he? I don't think he's, I don't think he's ending. So, um, we're going to go, we're going to go visit, uh, Mr. Deathridge at Deathridge TV. Tell him it's a chef lethal kitchen raid. If I can spell, uh, where's the home key? Tell him it's a chef lethal kitchen raid. Please, please, please. Um, it would really mean a lot to me if you guys came over with me, I'm going to go hang out in there for a little bit. And, uh, and, and like I said, just hang out today has just been amazing guys. Um, I love you so much for being here. It's been a long stream. You guys have hung out and hung with it. Um, I mean, you guys killed it today. We got like 20, 30 new followers. Um, we got an anonymous $20 tip. Just craziness, guys. But thank you all. I see you already going over there. I love you. I'll see you guys next time. I'll see you soon. I'll but guys, seriously, if you're here, thank you.